I've never really struck a man. Either. I'd be attracted to him for me to be like. Do you be blunt like uh, yeah. this ain't working? No, <laughs> like, I, have been, <laughs> no, I, I have been blunt, but it was only in like the context of it wasn't like the groove wasn't going right. So, so I was like, yeah, yeah right. we gotta yeah. stop. Okay, <laughs> right. Just in me, like, stop and try again because it wasn't stop. like you know you feel the energy and shit. Like some people could be like so fine or something mm-hmm. maybe, and then it's like when you do get in the bed with them, it's probably like what. All I seen was his eyes through the damn What you got on? Oh. Shout out to Kim's Jimmy Oils. Chew. I have prolific on. Shout out oh. to my brother. Oh. Leon Chambers. Yes. Yeah. My brother, oh. he has a, his, he's an entrepreneur. He like makes oils and everything. Oh, wow. And that's his full time. Yeah, that's job. very oh. like. It smells good, don't it? It really, precise. really does. And I, <laughs> that was a good actual like conversation starter. Like, yeah. do smells turn you on? Oh, yeah. Meaning oh. like, you know, <laughs> <It's all. laughs> certain smells like sometimes, you know, people use different aphrodisiacs and everything like oh, yeah. that. Do you like right. your significant other to smell? Right. Good, tasty, tasty. Am I eating them? Right. Like, like, you tell me. The whole five course meal. Right. Are you on or no? Um, <laughs> yes. Well, we should introduce everyone first yeah. because we have some okay, new people here this like week. That. Okay, so go ahead, we're gonna kick it over to the host. Go ahead, Justin. Essence Dog. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you might as well. Es- essence back for a second time in here. <laughs> hey, so, uh, essence, go ahead. I feel like I'm a vet now, not a rookie, but you know, hey. it's just kind of. <laughs> I'm getting in my grind. I'm getting used to the vibe. It's excellent here. So I'm always happy to be back whenever asked or, you know, whenever I can. I love the vibe here. So as you all know, I'm going to start introducing everybody or more so than, more so than I let them introduce themselves. So you already know I'm your girl Essence here. Second time in a row. I'm going to kick it down to my friend Birdie. Hey, I'm Birdie. Um. Yeah, I'm a professional student. I like art and I like to travel. So hey, hey. and we sell our easy. signs on this show. So oh yeah, I'm an Aries. Okay. which you're an Aries, so that's Aries a good day. introduction. Yeah. Oh shit, we got two Aries in here today. <laughs> <Two> Aries. <laughs> <laughs> we took fire pictures. Okay, let that oh, go. It's about to get wild. Let me scoot over a little bit. We might get burned. We sit too close to them. Yeah, we got it. Woo! Keep that up there. Here you go, bro. You you go ahead. Oh, what's going on, everybody? My name is JB Legendary, and I'm just. I'm me, you know. Know yourself, be yourself, and accept yourself. That's all. I like that. And what's your sign, JB? <clears throat> oh. I'm an Aries, uh, yeah. sign of the Ram, fire sign, and my planet is Mars. Oh, mm-hmm. gang, gang. Yeah. Oh, yes. oh, who gave us the full extendo? My name is Jay Gaines, and I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Sagittarius. Hey, yo, I forgot to say, well, I'm a Sagittarius, by the way. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> Shake it over to Shekana. Hey. Um, my name is Shekana, and Barry. I'm a very guy. Miss um, Barry. And Ms. Barry. <laughs> that's Miss Barry, y'all. Uh. Miss Barry. The best sign, of course. I miss Barry. Which is what? Uh, I said a Virgo. Not that girl. You ain't saying it loud enough, so it wouldn't Let me care my throat. Oh. I'm a Virgo. Oh. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Spice. Okay. Spice. Okay. Spice. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> everybody. Y'all know me as Z. Freedom. Um, Gemini gang over here. Hey. Not to shit on anybody else. Oh, damn. Okay. Trust me, you didn't. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> Shout out to my air signs out there. <laughs> it's cool, but, but you didn't. It's fine. <laughs> a universal hello to all of our fans yeah. out there. Yeah. Yeah. Or as Zara say, our soul family. Soul family. Not oh, I like not that. Yeah, soul soul family. Talk a little bit about more about that soul family. I well, never heard that yeah. before. Well, the first thing oh, I should put these Talk on. a little more towards the we left people on, on read, you feel me? We was talking about the fragrances. So oh, yeah. let's Y'all start like down there and come back. Headphones on the whole time. We know. That's cool. <laughs> Keep it down there. Yeah. Do you like you start the down smell there. You start now, of your lover? <laughs> you like the smell of your lover? Yeah. Yeah. You say, did you say starting down there? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. it was starting down there. Okay. No, no Brad, right, I think we said we starting down there. Come on, money. All I know is I'm not the nigga on the end, so I ain't got to start yeah, down there. Yeah, I'm uh, I feel it, bro. Dang. Well, I mean, I like uh, casual smells, like masculine, more like spice. Like, uh, I don't know what, like, I don't know what kind of good smells there is. 
Gucci. Ooh. Gucci. Gucci. So you like this? And I don't know what the yes. notes was, but it was like I worked at Victoria's Secret for a little second. So they show you like how you smell certain things and like the, you know, scents and notes of things. And I was like, okay. So then I just started figuring out like, okay, I like these type of smells. I don't really know like a specific. <laughs> You know, if it smells good, it smells good. This mm. is like music. If it sounds good, I'm I'm gonna fuck with it. Oh, okay. Um, okay. You know. Next. Don't they say music is like <laughs> a universe? <laughs> right. <laughs> Nigga, that's you. <laughs> um. Well, uh, I just like things that smell good. You know, uh, like them smell fruity, or if they smell like um, like fruity pebbles. Like a basket of fruit. See, so yeah. like they smell okay. <laughs> or if they smell, you know, real sweet. And, uh, <laughs> like what some fruit. in the world? <laughs> I like it smelling like fruit because I like fruit. All right. And, um, What's your favorite fruit? I eat it. Oh, what? shit. Uh, <laughs> Don't like start with us. <laughs> She'll go and toe to toe with you. This Pineapples one. and strawberries. You're not going to win this one. Excellent Uh-oh. selection. Bam. It's <laughs> over with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That ended very quickly. The fire signs are, the fire signs are in the house. Damn <laughs> yeah, right. Uh-huh. Yeah. smell. <laughs> I like that smelly smell smell. That smelly smell smell. <laughs> I got from SpongeBob. I'm fine. Okay. Uh, like kind of like what JB said. Like the the fruit. The I don't know. I, I know what you mean though. It's yeah, like, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Like a, it's it's like hard to really like particularly a, say yeah. what kind of smell because I don't have like a list of like scents like that yeah. I could be like, oh, these smell good together. Like what you do. It's like okay, sandalwood. Yeah. Yeah. You might be like, what the fuck is a sandalwood? But it does smell kind of good if yeah, you have a certain cologne so. or something it's like a, that. It's, it's, it's like a smell. Or, it's what kind of explain. deodorant as far as like that? Ooh, Do y'all like to smell good? I like, like, like Or y'all like X? Or y'all like a spray? I'm or secret. Or like, as soon as I get it, I used to feel no deodorant. Yeah, secret. Like, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Old Spice is, they smell so good. I like They really do. I don't even know what the fuck is deodorant. I like Fiji. Old Spice. Fiji. Fiji. I gotta smell that one. Old Spice Pure Sport. Okay. A pure sport. Yeah. Yeah, Is that? Right. I like the Old Spice commercials. It makes me look at the product. I like Suave and Secret. <laughs> oh yeah, Dove is nice too. Yeah, yeah Dove. Dove. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And to kick it back to the fragrance question, so our side can answer that as well. Y'all didn't answer y'all, did y'all? Yeah, yeah. yeah. what's on you? Yeah, it's on So for me. <laughs> <laughs> the fra- I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around it because for me it is an instant turn on when you get a little whiff you know that smell it's just whoo yeah i like it mm-hmm. <laughs> i like i love smell goods though so i would like the dude who i'm engaging with to smell nice or whatever you know it's a turn on me do you have it's like a plus a certain smell that you look for no, just good. I don't like the real strong. Like, yeah, what's the what's the back in the day? What's that one? There? <laughs> Everybody knows what I'm your grandpa. Cologne. That grandpa, the yeah. real yeah. grandma. Cologne. It was called a certain bot. What's the that? Juke, White juke, diamond. Juke. Juke. Y'all remember Juke? J O O P. I don't know what that is. I wasn't in my grandpa's closet. I'm the oldest nigga in here. I don't know what that is. I don't know either. Listen, I don't. Like the real strong male colognes from back in the day. They was real strong. It's like equivalent to Granny perfume, and I'm sure it's yeah, pretty much yeah. I can't yeah, do that. I like the fresh yeah. scents. The um, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. carefree cologne. Cologne is nice. Like this, the fresh shower. I like the shower smell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, don't I, like, yeah. I don't even so, know how they so cap it. Like, oh yeah. Because yeah. yeah. no, you know, just whatever you wash with. I mean, I have to make sure it's powerful enough to when I put my deodorant on that. You it, know, it just, amplifies it. Yeah. You know, your yeah, body's it's, natural. It's just chemical. a turn up. It's yeah. like oh, okay, we, you know, we, we just drink hella water if you didn't hydrate today. Always, men drink a lot of water. Everybody Telling you, drink the water. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's hella bottles on the table. Right, it is. I was like, this is mine, right? We stay, we right. stay hydrated around here. Yeah. You, yeah. Did? you got we to. Did. Wait, awesome. where's mine? Uh, Ooh, oh, that must shit. be yours, then. I feel what like they don't talk about that or help. Oh, everybody, everybody get their water. <laughs> Do you open one yet? <laughs> no, I feel no, like this, this one is mine because I tried to down it. Mine's literally sitting. Well, this is an extra one then up here. I can see how I got open. All right, we got we got the waters together. Okay. It was a right. situation. What's the next topic, y'all? What's the next topic? <laughs> oh, y'all want to answer? Oh, yeah, yeah. She kind of right. didn't answer, yeah. and then Freedom didn't answer. So. Yeah. I answered. Brown sugar, Freedom, oh. did. Y'all don't remember my answer? I don't remember No, because you didn't have that voice. Brown so sugar was trying to play <laughs> around like yeah. she did, but yeah. brown no, sugar, don't spice. Don't fall for the okie-doke. Spice, come on, here together. No, it ain't the one. Spice, talking to the mic. Um, I'm in the camera. <laughs> I mean, I never paid attention to like the way 
I don't know, like the way God smells. Or if Zero, they were, I need to maybe end her and start over. Oh. Like uh, if they were cologne or anything. I, I mean, as long as they don't fucking stink, they don't got to smell like any specific smell. Like What attracts you to like a guy or a woman? I don't know. Is that a weird question to ask if that's the thing? Well, attraction to this, someone. Yeah, well, yeah, attract, like, like what attracts you to somebody yeah. if that makes it more general? If you're talking it, about smells, yeah. It, it can enhance it. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. the smell ain't going to be like, what Yeah, the that's not going to be my first thing I'm looking at. Like, oh my yeah. God. He yeah. smells like, good. I need to find me, him. Like, yeah, it wouldn't even enhance it. It, 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 it would just be like, like certain. So I like smells in general. Yeah. Like, mm. I'm a candle person. So oh, yeah. if oh, I smell yeah. something yeah. that smells good, it's like, ooh, that smell good. But mm-hmm. when I'm looking at a guy, that's not something that will be like, oh, he don't smell a certain way. So I'm not going to talk to him. Yeah. Well, that's just enhance it. Yeah. Okay. For me, it's a, uh, I don't know, it's know like fresh out the shower. It's just a fresh out the shower smell for me because sometimes perfume be strong as fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't think yeah. a lot of women know. Like, it smell cool from sometimes. a distance. Yeah. But when strong. I'm up on you, I'm like, <laughs> God damn. Yeah, oh, you shit. holding your breath and shit. So. <laughs> Oh, um, that must be the strong one. Yeah, no, I smell it. Even it's just like food? it's too much. You only need like. Well, a, I don't. I don't. I, yeah, you only need like a couple. Of That's it. A little uh, quick, little. You know, just don't suck on her neck after that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always wonder that. Like, yeah, it yeah, tastes yeah, like yeah, alcohol yeah, and yeah, roses. Like, yeah, 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 don't take the lotion. Alcohol and roses. You gotta go wash your neck. Wash your neck if you want a hickey bit. No, not gonna happen. I've had that. Suck on the line, nigga. Right. But yeah, so. Like, y'all be tasting the lotions and stuff? No, you taste like the. Taste the chemicals. Like, you put perfume on your neck. Shea butter is good, though, for sure. I was just about to say shea butter and, like, some vanilla. I like the brown sugar. Cocoa butter. Cocoa butter. Or olive oil. Olive oil, bitch. Hey. Hi, Paris. Brush family in the house. Everybody say hey to Paris on. Hey Paris! <laughs> hey Paris, how you doing? Yeah, yeah I remember yeah. him. Well, I remember him as Patrick, but that's his IG yeah. name now. Oh, oh Lord, oh Lord, it's Paris. It's pa- hey, what's good, bro? Yes. Oh, Patrick. Yeah, Patrick. Patrick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, what's up, Patrick? Hey, brush is all in the house. Yeah. Shout out to the arcs out there. Oh, oh, that's shit. cute. That's so cute. Hey, you know, Some people don't fuck with their high school dresses. You right? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I like going to brush <laughs> high school. Oh, that's great. Right. What do you say, y'all? Oh, he like, said, like, hey, hey, LOL. I love it. Oh, that's oh, that's a a yeah. 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 Y'all waved. Huh? Y'all came what? and waved, right? So we came to wave asses. I mean, you know, I'm long. All I did was stick my big ass in there. Oh, yeah. When is that 2011 Brush High School reunion, hey, though? Hey, hey, All the way from the AZ. Oh, okay, we got yeah, Arizona yeah, in the okay. house. Okay, right. thank you for tuning in to the oh, show. Do. Feel say, free hey. to ask any questions as we go along with anything. We're happy to answer. We want to hear what you got to say, too. But we shout out to you for all the love. Hey, all the, love. the way from the <laughs> AZ, though. <laughs> West dope. Coast. Yeah. Oh, That's dope. Everybody hey. goes hey. West Coast. Hey, uh, when is the uh, reunion? <laughs> 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 like, you know about uh, the reunion? Uh, every 10 years. Though. And it yeah. needs to yeah. be one because I really want to go. Out. It would be great to see. Arizona would be nice. Yep, yep. It's coming. Is that a trip we trying to plan? Arizona? That's a. I've been. I literally will start looking at flights. Is Y'all. it really hot? No, I mean, it's actually, they don't hot. have humidity there. So, like, it's our like type of hot. Oh, heat is, no. Yeah. I, like I hate that, that dry we have, heat. We have, like, muggy heat. They have, like, yeah, dry, dry heat. heat. Dry heat actually feels better. Mm. Home, really? I like it. How I do you to like Alabama living in Arizona? And I had some of that dry heat, and I wanted oh, to go back in the fucking house because that good, shit was good. terrible. I like, I like the. Um, that's oh, yeah. The heat. You said, yes, it's hot. It's so good to speak to you. I mean, I mean, you know, we all we're on the other side of the camera, so. but it's nice to like reconnect and talk to people that we used to all hang out with. You know, brush. Nice. Oh yeah, yeah. I have so many memories. That's there. Yeah, yeah. We had a good Dang. high school. Damn, yeah, we're high school. It was crazy. Hurt. We all went there together, but we. Oh, I went to St. Martin um, de Porres. Let's we're, we're read what he said yeah, too. He uh, said during the summer it's Saint like a hun- oh my goodness during the summer there in AZ it's like 115 Ooh, on a good day. Lord. Oh hell no! Oh wow, yeah, that's, that's, that's a heat stroke. As soon as you walk shit. out the door, like 
gotta go there. <laughs> That's where they be cooking them eggs no. on the damn pavement at. <laughs> Shit. Walk pretty on, much. Flip flops, no socks, free ball, no shirt. <laughs> right. No, That's like for real. Jump That's right the, in the pool. The Mexican cornbread. Yes. Mexican. Yes. He was talking right. about that. Right. Uh, it's a heavily populated Hispanic culture there. Mm-hmm. I kind of got culture shock when I went. I wasn't Indian really expecting American. to see so many Hispanics there. I didn't really connect with the fact that they're close to the border right mm-hmm. um that wasn't even thinking about that but like in their malls they have things for can sierras and everything the celebrations you know okay. i think like for the 15 16 year olds mm-hmm. and stuff like that like it's live there the culture is right there do you it's see any like native dope. americans because i know they are they got like reservations in mm. Arizona, right? I don't know. I know they got palm trees mm. though. <laughs> Who knew they had palm trees with coconuts <laughs> hanging out of them in Phoenix though? Yeah. Shout out to them. They had cacti and all that. Well, of course we knew that. But desert, palm man. trees? <laughs> palm trees. Palm That's trees. I said, hey, we got palm trees. Wow. The West Coast. It was nice. Phoenix was dope. I enjoyed Phoenix. Dang, yeah, because you've been in how many places? <laughs> I don't been know. Able to tell Dang. You. About. 25 states, I think, or something like that. Oh, my God. I love travel, man. Yes. I love it. So I much. wish I could have so been five states. You can. You can. I'll yeah. say shit. Yeah. I ain't got that type of people to go to 25 Save states. It. Sometimes you got to go by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You just got to go. Your friend? Yeah. Right. Turn up. I want to do myself? the whole... I want no, I'll go. Oh no, no. no. Somebody I went, said I went by, by myself. myself. I went from Arizona <laughs> so to Las you Vegas do, to though. LA. You're I... right. You're right though. I give you that. I give you that. I want to say one of them cute photos all the girls taking on not like I'm a monkey ATVs. see monkey do. But yeah, on the ATVs and you in the desert. Oh yeah, that's a cool yeah, thing. Yeah, that's what I want. I got one in Thailand. That shit was nice. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's right. Right. like a journal yeah. trip, yeah. y'all. Yeah. 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 Like a, yeah. That's all like a plan. birthday behavior I'm telling trip. you. He said, you want to read it on there? I see it. He said it's, gonna be, it's 115 degrees on a good day. Right, but he said, no, nah, but in all honesty, it's beautiful out here. Mm. Mountains all over the place. Palm trees everywhere. It is really that nice. Sounds that sounds amazing. amazing. It is. Though, like, and the malls are huge, like mm. four floors. Ooh, and you know I love malls. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Ooh, I could I could do that. <laughs> so what's the topic on the floor, y'all? What y'all want to start really diving into? Okay, so uh, we got a couple of things we're gonna dive into today. Uh, we got a list. Let us know what's so on the agenda, Jamie. We got a. Uh, well, let's start with something uh, different. At the bottom this time. Okay. Are we starting at the bottom? Okay, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start with homophobic men. Uh, oh, man. I mean, <laughs> 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 so what I just feel like you shouldn't wow, hate somebody that's homophobic not men. Into you. <laughs> no comment. I mean, well, okay. Well, I'll comment because I don't give a fuck. I have. Yeah. Oh my God. So, I got friends. I mean,. <laughs> No, we ain't gonna slander. Him. As a yeah, we no, cool, yeah, we yeah, cool, yeah, yeah, right. Like it's, we don't care. We yeah, what was the topic about homophobic men? What what and what? Like, in what are we just talking about in general? Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Corey. Yeah, Corey. Yep. Yeah, it would have been. I know some of the coolest people that I know though are like homophobic men. Like some of them can be extra, but some of them can be cool as fuck. Like I went to Chicago. And our host was two, they were homophobic and they were boyfriends. And they were like the best hosts I fucking ever had. Like, they was cool host as fuck. Host. Host. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But they were cool as fuck. Like, they showed us a good time in Chicago. So, yeah. they, I've, they can be the party, the life of the party. I've so, always wanted a gay best friend. So, what about, um, I did so want you a have gay like an friend. incredibly masculine man that's homophobic. Like, what do you think of that? An extremely masculine what? man that's homophobic. It's like having an extremely non-masculine man that's homophobic. They're both homophobic at the end of the day. I mean, they way homophobic. Nigga <laughs> that don't like gay men. Yes. I mean, a homophobe is gonna be a homophobe no matter what you look so you're like. Saying the man. I don't know. Me too. Wait, yeah, that's why I'm like. Yeah. No, no, I'm I get with like you. Like, you need another topic. You need another topic. You need a whole podcast. That one was a lot. Wait, 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 we you got a lot of good ideas, but let me see if you have order. Wait, uh, no, what, what did you say? I right, started from the bottom over here. I said, <laughs> can, you, can you read my writing? <laughs> <laughs> That's dope, right? Yeah. Yeah. Giving head the right way, coming orgasm. Okay. Huh? What? Oh, giving head the right way, or orgasm? 
<laughs> Wait, what happened? I was kind of sketch. Oh, okay. Oh, Switching yeah. topic. Sex yes. talk. Okay, so <laughs> pertaining to that, okay. a lot of men oh, don't know how to please a woman. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And I feel like, have you ever had to lie just to act like, oh, yeah, I, I'm coming? Or mm-hmm. right, or like generally like, <laughs> <"I'm coming." laughs> Right, like, have you gotten the feeling that... Yeah, how, how often do you come with a man? Right. It's pleasing you, whether it's uh, orally or... Yeah, let me, let me twist that back. I can feel the no, left no, side you about to say some shit. No, I want to twist that back to y'all, though, too, because I swear a lot of men say, oh, every time I hit a girl, she come. Yeah, she's like oh, every time th- they don't. always be like, Man, I make she's this girl. Like, I mean, so they just gotta answer the question the opposite. Right. So they got yeah, gotta answer the question. Start. But for yeah. women, oh, who's <laughs> hard first? <laughs> no, no, that shit don't happen every time, though, bro. Sorry. Okay. So okay, so is that want to start with the first? Because it's women know their men know their right. All right, come on, bunny. <laughs> <laughs> he just called me Bunny, Brenda, or something. Brenda. I, thought, I don't know what I, I thought he said. Bunny. I did. I said yeah. Bunny. Yeah. Yeah. That's different. Birdie. Uh, Still was a B. I heard Bunny. I heard Bunny. I don't know. Maybe I was thinking about rabbits. I'm sorry. That's what I was thinking about. I don't know about that one. Wait, can you re ask the I, question? Yeah, I gotta, it's, it's, it's not. It's just a topic. What's the question again? Is there a question that follows? Oh, I think yeah. he yeah. asked the question. I, girl. I asked the question. Yeah, I just wrote the topic. I'm just. <laughs> 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 what was the okay. question? Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. We got yeah. too yeah. deep wrapped up in that. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What was, was it? So, how often do you come when a man is pleasing you, whether it be um, oral or through penetration? Okay. Or have you ever um, faked the orgasm? Or, and do you fake them? Have you ever had to fake just to know. stroke a man's ego? Mm. Oh, okay. I mean, if <laughs> interesting. Yeah, that's a little. That's that's a. <laughs> do you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, <laughs> I'll go first. Yeah, I mean, if you want to show the guys, yeah, yeah, I'm about to say. So like, I go first. Here, so like, if you don't really like like him, maybe I don't know. You stroking his ego? Maybe he got like no, some you type personally. Yeah, I'm about to say oh. you. Yeah, no, I never really stroked the man's ego. I would be attracted to him for me to be like. Do you be blunt like this ain't working? No, I have been blunt but it was only in like the context of it wasn't like the groove wasn't going right so, so i was like yeah up, was like, we gotta yeah. stop okay <laughs> right just in me like, stop just, and try again because it wasn't stop. like you know you feel the energy and shit like some people could be like so fine or something mm-hmm. maybe and then it's like when you do get in the bed with them it's probably like whack and Maybe. i mean realize <laughs> shit happens I'm People laugh, they talking stuff Why they trying to do all this awkwardness Because sex be for black millennials Is not a common thing to talk about They don't really fuck with it But like, I mean, it is what it is We fuck a lot So like <laughs> Not a lot for some people, you know what I mean? But, like, yeah. as a sexually active uh, generation, I yeah, think we are very, like, you know, unaware of what we can feel like, you know so what I mean? You, have you faked the orgasm? Know. Yeah. Okay. I have. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, like, to answer the question, yeah. yeah, but I was just like, maybe. <laughs> but yeah. we don't talk mm-hmm. about that shit. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no, we talk about everything on the podcast. I'm about to say, I had to formulate I had to process this shit. Then I'm like, okay. That was welcome to the lavish journey. Every day. This is, this is when you get lit in this a, motherfucker. When you go on a journey. <laughs> when you go on a journey. Yeah. Yeah. Take places journey. you never yeah, been before. Yeah, for like, sure. Yeah. Your mind. Okay, what about you, Ron? Oh, well, if we could stick with the well, women. Go yeah. women. women. Um, um, y'all is in consideration. Y'all can't go in the line. Like, ladies first. That's being completely cool. respectful. I mean, we don't have to really go into the place. Let's go next. two areas on the end. I just feel like, Jesus, why is that bitch? All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What about you? Before I before I continue or start, I'm going to throw an insider. <laughs> I know she would know what I'm talking about. Okay, so now I can start. Um, to answer your question, definitely yes. I have faked Multiple. pleasure. Yes. That's why, that's pleasure why. that wasn't really there or to that extreme. Why? To, mm-hmm. Why? Because yes. I'm too nice. Mm-hmm. So to be considerate. You know, I, I I feel like sex means a lot to guys, it's especially it's an like, ego thing. Damn, you might be so if they me. not hitting it right or they not really, really satisfying you, that can really 
her to do so for mm-hmm. her. I've seen that's it too happen. Bad. That's good. Yeah, these yeah. girls fucking so. Maybe they need to get it wrong. Please I'm too nice. So I'll like make it seem like it's probably better than what it is. But you know. Speaking out on a man, like we do want to make sure you all are being pleased correctly. You feel me? Like you like the yeah, yeah. Some men just ain't got it in them. So like it's some shit. If you like, I'm just saying, is that not the goal? What if you don't like to have sex though? Anything you would do, don't drop this. Anything you would do, person though. You said, so what if you what? Anything you wouldn't do necessarily. You can do all these other things, but if the person don't really like having sex, there's nothing you can really do. Yeah. I mean, that's a different kind of scenario. Okay. Like, what was how often you meet people? That? Like, yeah, I ain't fucking at all. Yeah. If you don't want <laughs> I mean how often you just meeting somebody like yeah, no that's sex pretty rare at all me. you feel ever? me ever yeah like majority yeah, of ever. people are like oh I'm celibate they're getting fucked I mean also. yeah they just waiting on that <laughs> no, right I person I mean they have sex yeah. they just don't I'm enjoy just, it like it's not yeah. pleasurable to yeah. them like it is to other people like, <laughs> they just I, and just like a lot of people well I have a couple face. friends like that though that just nothing there that yeah. sex is like it it's don't doing, it don't do it for them. Yeah. Like they don't like it. They don't yeah. like head. They don't like inner. They don't like none of that. They, yeah, asexual. it was a girl I knew. She didn't yeah. like to come. She asexual? liked the active sex. They no, didn't like to come. She said it's they too just, much. She like. Oh, um, she don't like to. Sex is very like energy draining, though. I'm yeah. the complete opposite. That's, how, that's what she said. I, sex wow. is very I energy draining, like and I get why some people don't do it. Wait, wait. How's the energy? Yeah, how's the energy draining? Yeah, it, oh, that's it, a good topic to start after she talks yeah. about. Yeah, well. you be tired. How is yeah. sex? Yeah. How is sex? Well, that's a good question. That. Because, like, I ain't gonna lie, you kind of have to really plan your <laughs> feel of forgot. how you. Look. I don't know, what? but like, sex is very energy draining. You really, topic. your body is not. You gotta regenerate. It's an exercise. It. Yeah, it is an exercise. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people mm-hmm. fail to realize it's sex. Is I feel an like exercise. we should go back to the topic, especially after when you're doing the guys it, right? answer their yeah. question. Yeah. Oh, see. Huh? Well, was it kind of you was gonna finish up your order. Oh yeah, she was saying. Oh, right here. Have you ever faked the orgasm? Yeah, she got finished her question. Oh, have I ever faked the orgasm? Yeah, yeah. You saying you were saying how you really, really, really like sex? I mean, so here's my thing. Like, I have faked a lot of orgasms because when I fuck, I fuck to please myself. And Mm. once I'm pleased, it just don't feel the same to me. It's like Hmm. once I come and shit, it's like okay, now you 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 need to be done too. Like, Like, Mm. and then we can go around to like twenty minutes later. But that's just twenty. Damn. <laughs> I thought you was gonna be snap back, by me today. <laughs> no, you gotta give them a minute, cause dudes they don't just snap back like females do. Yeah, nah, uh, hold up. No, it's no, some niggas. Niggas do not. It is scientifically proven that dudes don't snap back. Oh shit! He said, "Let me be right." Wait a minute. So okay, let me make sure this is clear. Two also before, cause I know you're going there. Yeah, it also depends how much you like that woman. Cause if you really feeling her and into her. You popping right back up, like mm-hmm. come on. I like, have real guys, talk. If I you didn't like get soft after you've had sex mix. with, never like it. It ain't just like that's, right but down, that's because I up. have. But I'm very sexual, minutes. so it's like I want it. It's like this all the time, you and just so want yeah. it. Uh, 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 and, and it's not ow. like I said I like <laughs> pleasure, like and whatever I do, it has to be pleasurable for mm-hmm. me to enjoy it. Mm-hmm. So it's like. Mm-hmm. If it's not there, then like I I want it. I want it when I want it, and then guys just be like, no, like you just you you. I'm confused. I have Chicana. multiple guys. So she's a porn star. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I was the like, damn, person. little ass, you just letting the pound out. Right 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 I like sex. I'm the type okay. of person that say I like sex. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. You're just a sexual person. Yeah, that's yes. what you're But uh, girl, back girl. to the bullshit you just said. Not you know. It's not, 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 not for all. No, not, not for all men, but for me, my, my brother and my other brother. I'm just listening. So, um, uh, please pay attention, men, ladies. I don't give a fuck what you're doing. Men, pay attention. Now, no if one's paying attention. I'm telling you one thing. First of all, if you get tired right after you have sex or right after you come, drink a small Gatorade. That'll get your body back going. Electrolytes. I'm trying to tell you, Bing. it's the real shit. I told you. I've done it. I do it. It works. But I mean, after the years now, I can just snap back. Like I don't like it. There, there is no, How long there is no snap back. There is no getting. <laughs> so, huh? 
No, it, it's, yeah. It'd be boom, like you get that, you be like, oh, and then you'd be like, all right, now I just had to stretch. Awesome. Now <laughs> we got to <laughs> But <laughs> also, back to what he said, you do have to be attracted to the person. Like, if you're not mentally connected right. and physically connected, then, you know, yeah, like, it, it has to be connections yeah, everywhere. It can't just be like, oh, yeah, she fine, I'm a hit. Because once you get to that point, it's going to be like, all right, uh, okay, what the fuck am I doing here? Yeah, you come like, to you, come to your senses. That yeah. would be another reason why, because they're not, like, connected. <sighs> Or attracted, you know. I mean, they might be attracted. It's just like I mean. Yeah, so for come. me, I've never had sex with anybody who I wasn't dating. Mm -hmm. So the attraction was never the thing. But so you date a lot. Niggas get. I've dated my fair share. And that was a good bounce back. That was, that was good. good. That was a good That was a player smooth. answer. That was, right, that was a smooth, smooth as fuck. Yeah, yeah, my God. Boss. Boss. <laughs> she made me put this shit down. Yeah. 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 Fuck me up. Oh, Take a drink of water on that one. Take some water. Niggas get tired. Like. Niggas, yeah. they get a female as much as they talk. Not all. Say a percentage. Say a percentage. Not all. Say you haven't had that bitch to make you tired. Mm? Not all. Some. Uh, not all. What I mean, what you talking about? Like, uh, mm. what what position? What position are we talking about? What do you mean? What position? Like, Any is, is, position? Is, is she riding? Is, is it from the uh. back? Is it fellatio? I mean, I it de like depends on what it is. You should because... just make room for all of it. Like, oh no, I do. Right. Mm. So, but I feel dudes <laughs> get tired out. Dudes do get tired out. I mean, you tell gotta, me a dude that ain't never got a, tired out during sex. You make set. a sweat, you know, and you, you mean, be like, oh man. Everybody get tired when but they feel not, like they working out. Yeah, shit, so. right. I might be but it's not that tired. Like, oh man, I'm dead. I gotta. Oh man, I but gotta. But if go I drink a Gatorade, I know. The electric lights hit. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you gotta try that one time. Exactly. You in the game. Sorry, right, just stay away from the Red Bull. You just had to call the time Stay away from Red Bull, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's like drinking out. coffee Coach trying to bench. have sex. Like, that's Gatorade. weird. Coach, get you together. Get your mind right. <laughs> Throw some water in there. And you back. You back up. I said, that's like coffee. Yeah, you trying to drink coffee and fucking. That ain't gonna work. That's gonna be weird. It's gonna come up. You trying to drink a Red Bull, that's gonna be nasty. I don't can't even. <laughs> I'll be over here. Yeah, you wanna <laughs> <laughs> shaking this shit on these guys. Sweating. I'm ready. He's gonna be like, damn it, you out. He's gonna be like, I know I'm in it, but damn, I know I'm in it like that. He's gonna be like, I know I'm in it, but damn, I know I'm in it like that. Am I going that fast? I don't know what's going on. Am I going too fast? I don't know. He can't stay on me for shit. So what I'm doing. That is crazy. That's so vice versa. Point? Remember the guys was supposed to answer yes, for y'all. Yeah, the guys to like, have y'all faked the, what was, can y'all uh, fake the orgasm? You said, uh, oh, yeah. guys can't read. We yeah, can't really read that shit. Okay, no, 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 okay, no, okay no, so. But no, have, no, have y'all like no, made no, it no, seem no, like. You faked it before? Uh, I get what you're saying, yeah, though. Yeah. How do you I fake, fake it? No, wait. I get what you're saying. He what are you saying? Like, yeah, you're trying to make it sound I, like she had I better. I don't want to sound like the liar, but yeah, yeah I can't uh, count. Oh, so we trying to be real, yo. Real shit. I, yeah, basically, <laughs> you, fake, fake you fake the nut. How do you fake an orgasm as a guy? You make the same noise that you do. Shit, I don't think you do So you just stick in the shit, and then you just like, uh, yeah, uh. Uh, I don't know. It ain't that no. soft unless you're So it's like, have, I, I guess, I guess a better question like, for them would so be, be like, uh, have uh, you ever <laughs> had sex with a female? <laughs> oh, 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 and you make it sound know. like it's better oh, than what, what it, it is. is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, have y'all ever had some wax? So the guys are supposed to answer. So let's start with freedom. Like, go ahead. Or right. who want to so, start? Freedom. The nigga on the end. There you go. Like, have <laughs> you ever. Been in a situation where having sex with the female, you hyped it up way more like she was really doing something or her, you Over know, was sex. good. And, and it wasn't. wasn't. Overhyped sex. That's Overhyped sex. Overhyped sex. Overhyped sex. I mean, but Overhyped you sex. do it too. Um, <laughs> to the point of just hyping her up. I mean, me, I'm a, I'm a pleaser, so I'm hyping shit up regardless. You feel mm -hmm. me? So, so yeah, he different? said, ain't no downtime in this yeah, bitch. Really <laughs> we got optimism all through this fucking yeah. I ain't mean to interrupt, <laughs> no, no, but cool. so you're a giver? Yeah. I'm going to ask each one of y'all that too. So you're more of a giver than a taker. Yeah, man, gotcha. I, I get off to that. I mean, it pleases me to Fuck. see my partner please. You, you feel me? So you said what? I'm sorry. What no, it's cool. I said it. It pleases <laughs> no, me, cool. or it turns me I'm on to see that my partner is pleased. You feel mm. me? So I like to make sure you it. are stimulated yeah, in mm -hmm. as many ways as possible. So yeah, get off deep. after that. I think it's we're like looking at each other's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm following though. Just yeah. kind of zoned in right now. <laughs> <You feel me>? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, like very it's, it's very stimulating. So 
that's what for me personally and over hyping it i mean it's either it's good or it's not you Dang. feel me but i so, think both real talk okay know. yeah and at the end i got a real good follow-up question like yeah, what I'm makes sure. it good or not Okay, right. but we ain't answering that right yeah. now. Oh, <laughs> Wait, but, uh, I think they want to answer that question. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Next person. Oh, what's the question? Have you ever <laughs> overhyped sex? <laughs> overhyped somebody? Yeah. Have you ever overhyped sex or had sex with a girl where you feel like you made it feel like, oh, this is really good, but you ain't even really into it? I'll say it for head. Like, well, Let me just say that. For head-wise, head. like, you know, sex is more... For me, like, I'm doing it. You feel me? Unless you're riding or you want to um, have your moment to show off, show off. But, oh, um, show off. Yeah, show them tricks, do. ladies. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but when it comes to head, I blot on it. Awesome. Sometimes you're like, oh, shit. And, that's, and it don't be head. I feel your Hey, teeth. man, if that, if that head ain't on point, I ain't fucking yeah, with it, man. Right. I'm not going to lie. Like, real <laughs> shit, that, right, that, right. That, that's right. just me personally. Like, if the head ain't on point, I mean, you ain't about to get this dick. I can not too, for real, but I know I can... He need a base yeah. ground of yeah. what am so I working when with? When y'all meet females and like y'all have sex with females and stuff, do they automatically just give y'all a head or is it like something that y'all gotta build up to? Mm. <laughs> mm, that's a great question. <laughs> I'm so serious. Well, actually, because so you when you talking about head, head mm-hmm. yeah, hey, like when you quiet. talking about putting your mouth yeah. on somebody <laughs> dick though, that's like personal. Feelings. Okay, so like, it, it, it it would it would depend now. If, cause it don't, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be real. It be does in. not go both ways. Some the new generation think, oh well, if I suck your dick, you got to eat my pussy. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think you got. Nah, I'm see, dead. our generation don't I'm ride in like that. that. Generation. <laughs> Either you get down with it in your mouth, or you don't. If you yeah. don't, then that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you know. That's not what you said. No, yeah. I'm yeah. Personally, yeah, I'm not talking about it. You get chalked if you don't. No, I was genuine question. Man, what the fuck is the question? So I can knock that shit off. No, you was on the right path. What you doing? What'd you say yes, personally? What else? I was going like. That? I mean, personally, like, I eat pussy, so I don't really. He said well, I was but, the, but the head, but the head got to be bomb. Yeah. You eat the random? You eat the groceries? Fuck no. Okay, so you have, to, you have to know the person. I like that answer. <laughs> right. For a minute or what? Yeah, like I gotta, like I gotta personally know you for real, cause yeah. like when I like mm-hmm. when I when I eat, like you put your all into it. I don't just be like, oh, you hit it, uh, blah, blah. <laughs> Like no, you not as a dude. You like he said, you know, we're pleasers. That nigga turning his head and shit. I need my nigga I to look. I that fan. That was it. <laughs> so yeah, like, okay. I'm like, I kind of needed support if I needed backup. No, just man, looking over, no, though. <laughs> but no, nah, I mean, like you said, like you put your all into it. Just like when you giving dick. I mean, it's a it's a different mm-hmm. feel. Some but. niggas know they got good dick and they be doing some shit. And some women got some good pussy that be doing some shit to some niggas that make it, them go crazy. That's what I didn't want to say because I didn't want to sound but that like that shit a is cocky real. Nigga. But and y'all know, yes. y'all know who y'all is. Oh, how some of y'all be having kids already. She, y'all know y'all be she, laying it down. And she just answered my. She, she <laughs> just did it. I lay it down. I lay, I lay plumbing pipe. That's probably why some people trees, don't have poles, sex. That they don't like that. They know what they got. Big. They try to shit stay like alone. That. They like to be by themselves until they find that right person. <laughs> that's me. I respect it. That's me. <laughs> I too. Yeah, like, that's not for everybody. But right, I was about to say that shit hard. It is. I'd be like, oh, next time I have sex, it's gonna be my husband. And then I'd be like, it's kind of like self control. Yeah. Mm. You know, that's a whole other different <laughs> discipline, right? Yeah, because I talk to my niggas. I'd be like, bro, I'd be like, man, I ain't. I'd be like, nah, I ain't right. Fuck her, bro. This ain't no community. Bro, last night name. we had all these girls over here, and you, I was fine. If I was playing, I'm serious. Okay, really? You're like getting a whole different story <laughs> now uh, behind uh, the scenes. Is you lying or not? You can go through my phone and see what I was doing. He brought a bus load of people over here. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> like buses, nigga. <laughs> Buses Damn, he got bitches by the bus room. <laughs> stop, stop it. All of you, stop it. You're inappropriate. It's a man of God. I am thirsty drinking. I am a water. child of God. I am a wholesome church boy. That's what I am. Uh-huh. Um, I heard those be the worst, weekend. though. Yeah, they Man. pastors' kids. PTs is the worst. Okay. Mm, PTs. No PTs. Right. PTs. Right. PTs. They, the the they be going for real. <laughs> pastors. They the worst. My <laughs> baby mama is a pastor. Oh, see. Oh, you have to. She. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Cause they know, yeah. they, fucking know. know. <laughs> they fucking know. They fucking know. Right, right, right. He said that last yeah. part. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Oh, 
Okay. Very interesting. Keep that pullout game strong. Strong. Very. But why risk pulling out when you can wear a condom? Kind of right. right. Okay. Now. Now. <laughs> now. Now. Shit. Now. Okay. Look. No, now. Look. Look. <laughs> you can. You can still. No. You can still pull out with a condom no. on. Just because you have a condom on does not mean. No. I'm saying that why instead of trying to yeah. Yeah, we, we do it raw this. and pull out, use the pull out method. You just don't wear a condom. Why is that? I mean, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't just say I raw dog. I said pull out game strong. Protection is real. Trojans. Yeah. But if it's a hole. You don't know how fresh, how secure that bitch is. Real talk, and you you don't know you what know, she has done within those so ten days. So, does it for a guy? Does it feel different with a condom on versus not having a condom on? Or it's it's a it's a, what I'm, it's a big ass difference. But, but, but if you if you doing what you're doing, then it's like all right, like I'm really just gonna. But can y'all still feel it? Like it's not you, as intense. It's, yeah. huh? it's not a, it's not as intense. Before you feel me like without yeah. it, you could. Me, I'm an energy. I feel energy right. really mm-hmm. well. So when I'm having sex without a condom, I'm feeling you. You know, you feel right. me. It's, yeah. a, it's a good exchange happening. Literally, you know, all, it's like, all of me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, John Legend. <laughs> she got that. That's a, that's a good ass. <laughs> he's, he's a wonderful musician. I love John uh, Justin, Legend. Justin, you didn't answer the question. <laughs> oh, yeah, you didn't. Yeah, you didn't answer no Justin, Justin been avoiding out. all these questions. Right. Uh, I, I just Bust been listening. Hey. Uh-huh. Hey. Look, at hey. me, I believe that uh, condoms is always safe and I great and everything. Father. That wasn't even but a damn He question. said and everything. <laughs> and and everything. Let him finish his cap. Let him finish his thought. So you just been waiting for all the questions that he did not answer. What do you mean? How is the weather outside today? This boy. It's so what, what was the question? Y'all Ask keep moving on because he just let it go. Question, please, because he skipped. <laughs> he skipped all the questions. Okay, I'm like, gonna take it that right he now. He didn't answer anything. Like, <laughs> I let them answer. answer. No. Uh-huh. 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 I don't know what the question. What's another question topic? Was, what have you faked? <laughs> like, what do we start off at? <laughs> have I what? The question was, have you faked? Oh. Do you um, overhype? Do you overhype? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I did that multiple times. I definitely believe in overhyping her, but if you got to consistently do that all the time. <laughs> yeah, I definitely believe in overhyping her. Like, it don't be all that, baby, but I'm going to make you think it is. <laughs> right. <laughs> be like, yeah, girl. Yeah, because you look, when you behind her or something, when she can't see your, when she can't see your eyes. Do you be like... Yeah, right <laughs> like do your face just be like oh, you just be that's like, what I say you just gonna like, be sitting there doing this <laughs> wondering when the fuck is it gonna be over is she gonna right. come or not I'm like no make sure I'm about to walk in I'll leave it 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 <laughs> oh, I think everybody can say they have because I know Justin ain't gonna give a definite, but right. I can, oh, I can yeah. say, we'll look out for you. I can say everybody know. has overhyped somebody, you know. <laughs> right. you know and that's very understandable. Are you ain't yeah. yeah. gonna give a definite? It's very true. Yeah. 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 I feel the same way they feel. It's 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 the exact feeling. I'm gonna need some of them more. But then niggas who can't really have sex be like thinking they the shit, and this be like, oh, but you're really not that good though, like. I feel like men should never overhype themselves. Oh. And, I mean, if they ain't never you, had nobody to tell them that they ain't good. But that, a man nah, that's what happened with some of these boys. These hoes got these boys. Shut up, because you know what I'm talking about. Some <laughs> No, sometimes I know colorism might be like the next thing to talk about, but light skinned dudes definitely got a stroked ego on some things. Colorism, it is. Colorism. Oh, no. That's in the topics. Uh, <laughs> that is. the only light-skinned man in here, I'm slightly offended. Man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she talking about you. So, like, <laughs> I'm talking about here. men, so that's generalizing samples. So I'm just, you know, just light so, skin, light skin, dark skin, light skin, man. yeah, like, light skin versus dark skin. That's still colorism. Same nigga. Same. Yeah. Right. Y'all ain't shit. I mean, no, they do act different though. A little bit. Yeah. No, also, not, and Tracy, that sounds, we still black. I get y'all, but. I feel like it's like the yeah. embedded thing. It's yeah. The generations of people every, talking every dark down skin. on light like skin. Like how they say, dark like, they say light skin. dark skin niggas dark skin. are, you know, more threatening than light skin niggas. Like, light skin niggas yeah. sweet and this and that. Yeah. But out of the crew, uh, I'm the nigga that'll commit a homicide first. <laughs> Yeah, we know. And we going to we, <laughs> well, we got a beer, so we're we going straight, <laughs> straight to prison now. Straight to prison now. What are we talking about? Nate, if 
I don't understand I'm colorism gonna... though, but I, I, it's becoming I, a good thing. I, I, really, I it's very prevalent in yeah. our society yeah. that I, we got going on more. right now. Yeah, yeah. especially these Black day. Lives Matter and stuff like that. It's slave oh. day mentality. Yeah, yeah. it's just light skins modernization. The house niggas. It's <laughs> field niggas versus house niggas. We just call yeah. it light skin. Dark Actually, skin. my per- Damn, my personal trainer hit me on some shit. He was like, "Y'all niggas just keep calling it the hood. Y'all already separated. Ain't no community. That's why they got Jewish communities. That's why they got Islamic communities." They got people that's always together and unified. It don't matter what mm-hmm. what part of the country where they came from. Our ass is talking about oh what section we at. Right. Them niggas still no section together. eight motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then that's how people get comfortable. That's, that's horrible just, though because it's like that just reminded me like you're right like we don't really like bond mm-hmm. bind and bond together as nope. people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like the black. I'm oh, sorry y'all. No, no yeah. That's what I love talking about. Like, like like the black community is like we're killing each other. Like do we not realize like we're taking people lives? It's sickening to me. To look at that freaking Cleveland, you know, memorial page. And I love looking at it because it, like, keeps me informed. Because you don't see that stuff on the news. Mm -hmm. You don't see the stuff that's going on in our community, within our streets, you know, on the news. So, it's great that we have that resource. But every day, Mm -hmm. to see 10 homicides in 72 hours or whatever the crazy figure was that was, like, the first that's Ever? only conditioning us to be used to that. That too. is, we have so, over a hundred homicides in Cleveland since the beginning of this year, and it's only October. We yeah, so it's like, Chicago, I so I know that that's, yeah. that's a small I, I number. Either. I don't, yeah. don't, yeah. don't want to see, see it why show. now we're because yeah. it's, you know I I sometimes I do be having to take that. Don't don't fo- I don't follow. I mean, understand. Like we passed Chicago and Detroit. No, we're number one. But let's be real. That's it. It. Killing happens in every city, every country, every state. Are we the most? That's it. That's sick though like because people are race. so quick I mean, to retaliate, and I don't want to yeah. touch too much in depth on this touch subject. On it. We need to no, because it's very Cleveland personal. Cleveland need to be woke itself. And I don't know who his followers are, and I don't want to offend everybody. Like everybody in this room, I don't want to offend anyone. It's black. Everybody has offend on me. Fuck your feelings, bitch. Yeah, we don't better take this shit. No, 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 no. We say you want to say. So I'm gonna tread lightly on this, but it was like a lot of controversy over that recent funeral. I don't know if y'all saw the one where I guess it was his wishes to be. Just gonna say it was. It was. It was. uh, He was on the throne, and um, that's how he wanted to be sent off, sitting on the throne. So this in Cleveland. So yes. this nigga wanted he somebody to yeah. a, get a no, personal chair? No, like... <laughs> wait, what? A personalized chair? Like so a basically, I'll show you all the pictures know. after this okay. concludes. But I guess the family said his wishes was he wanted... He was like a king, so he wanted to die like a king. He didn't want to be in a casket all regular. His wishes <laughs> was to sit him on a throne. <laughs> and he was... <laughs> You Not know, so sitting on the I'm throne. So you know what? No, no. I'm be, starting to see that very often um, on Instagram. People are very and like, Facebook, like, yeah, and then they the they, they yeah. said in Africa is very popular where you know yeah. the person lays on the bed and you mm-hmm. all come in and view them on the bed, you mm-hmm. know, and it's just like a lot of controversy was around that issue. We'll touch on that later. But um, what I brought that up for was like some of the comments I was reading. People was like, "Oh, and if you got a problem with it, oh, send me your location." Or I'm like, <laughs> "So oh, now we about to kill another person because they have an opinion." Yeah. Yeah. Or it's just like we going straight to the killing or Death, meet up yeah. with me. Or if you got a problem breathing with, with me, it's it's sick. Yeah, it's scary because you. Oh you killing you people. Almost. You killing people's loved so ones. Better. Like Jesus you killing people Christ. loved ones. It's sad to me. Yeah. Like yeah. the mentality of a person to really kill. That's a high level of hatred or anger. Well, you at the know they, they 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 trying I mean, to get a bill passed it's about not animal, hatred. Um, like you gotta killing. understand the really? mentality and, yeah, of growing up killer. in the street. Not even that, but like. A lot of dudes out here that be doing the shootings, that be doing the killings and everything. These is Rex. hood niggas that grew up in the streets. Generation. They don't know <laughs> anything but the streets. So mm-hmm. when you talking about somebody's mentality, you got to look at how these people was raised, where they grew up at, who mm-hmm. was their role models. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of stuff that go into that. Mm-hmm. And, and it's sad. So what's that the too, solution? Because, then? like, I, I grew up in the hood. Mm-hmm. Right. But we moved out. So, like, I, I have... And it's a couple other homies, but... I'm, we're not the type of people that wanted to stay in the hood. We right. knew what the hood was about, like mm-hmm. shootouts, lay down on the ground because it's about to be a drive-by. 
like helicopters every night, hearing gunshots mm-hmm. every night, police sirens. That's not how our um, parent guardians wanted us to live. Mm-hmm. Right. So, like, the people around us, they didn't want us Used to live to like that. that. Like, our homies, like, we didn't want to see them living like that from seeing dead bodies in the back of trucks or dead bodies in the backyard and shit like that. Like, the shit was real. Like, right. trap mm-hmm. houses and all that. That's, that's Trust not a good me, life I, I know. to live. <laughs> like, but some people, like you said, some people, that's all that they know. And that's really all that they want. You know, some people actually don't get that second mind but that they, they want to get out too. They don't know nothing else. It's survival. They don't, it's, it's, mm, that's a part of survival. They, don't, I mean, they yeah, don't know nothing it's, else. It's still, like, it's still like, it's a choice like mm-hmm. to, for people like us to go back and to create, you know, uh, uh, a gateway and an opening for people like that. So we can teach them that there's more than that just mm-hmm. to this small community and you having to fend for yourself. Because right. it's not like that. I mean, so I grew up probably wasn't in the hood. And my whole family, like, like that's what they do. Like, yeah. I'm probably, I'm not going to say I'm the most educated one out of my family, but I'm the first one in three generations out of my entire family to get a high school diploma. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I know, and my brother, my cousins, nigga, my mm-hmm. daddy, my daddy ain't never held a job before. My daddy been a drug dealer since he was 11 years old. But... Mm-hmm. I know what it's like. You see that shit firsthand. Mm-hmm. And you can sit them niggas down and you can try to talk to them. But the answer is always the same. That's all, The streets is all I know. Like, they yeah, ain't never right. had me. The only thing that probably else. saved me for real is I got a mentor. I got a mm-hmm. mentor really young. And my mama wanted to keep me and stuff. But mm-hmm. that's the difference between these boys and these girls. Mm-hmm. Mama spend more time trying to make sure they girls is out of it. But they let mm-hmm. their sons slip through the cracks. Now, how does cracks, a girl yeah. function in it, though? Like, what would be a girl's role? Oh, out here like being a drug dealer too or like I mean would no be it would just role? so the female would be like a support so some females they do be pushing some mm-hmm. niggas get some products to their females had a females sell mm-hmm. in their hood or setting mm-hmm. niggas up but, and shit to get robbed or setting yeah. niggas up uh-huh. but basically if you really got like a female that's in a hood whatever she just you gonna store your shit at her house pretty much yeah. that, that that's gonna be mm-hmm. be your bitch she gonna basically do like she, yeah, she, she driving you she around she storing your shit. stuff yeah. at your house yeah. if somebody come over she know where your stash at whatever she ain't about to like females know the game mm-hmm. and they know they learn the game from the niggas who they mm-hmm. fucking with because mm-hmm. they got to teach them the game because that's the life that females be in too so it's just it's a vicious cycle especially you ain't got nobody to pull you out of that cycle mm-hmm. it's like it's, abuse it's a, it's, wow. it's a circle it's an abusive relationship it's, with and it's gonna money, stay that's life, what the generations love, that's what yeah. white people did they knew what they was doing when they mm-hmm. tore the black community down mm-hmm. this is exactly where they wanted us to be at we exactly where they want us to be at man we at the bottom right now the community light is low they can control we don't know nothing else we don't know nothing we killing our own people off they killing us off like Mm. it's propaganda from the from the (laughs) jump from since the civil war it's been propaganda and they knew what they was doing it's like all of this shit is set up that's why they making the laws to keep this shit exactly (laughs) how it is they like it like this it's sad, man. Man. Y'all know who y'all are who voted for Trump and you black. You a sellout. Fuck you. You a fucking sellout. That's, that's <laughs> fact. He, he told you you was I a nigga vote. and you better vote for me and y'all <laughs> voted for him. That was off top. I, I stick my head in the yeah. politics. I'll be doing that shit while I'm doing Uber. Here and there, yeah, shit. Might as and well. Some you ain't got some shit else to do. Because I'm educated about I can't it. look like, at crime. That's going to happen be, either man. way. You I'm already be. dealing with that. I be saying all Besides the point. It's going to be look at crime. Yeah, they, crime is gonna happen regardless of what <laughs> anybody. Right. It's getting right. I'm looking at the politics of who about to be in charge because shit, this ain't looking right. Yeah, but I need the people behind him. Yeah. I don't give a fuck who the head is. Yeah. I mean, that's why I'm be telling people. Right. But you know, the right. it's things that's like just going on where Until it's I can unacceptable. Vote for Congress, yeah. all the men in Congress. Yeah, that's why we got to get out and vote. You know, People don't know about their local government. Behind the head. I don't give a fuck about Trump. Trump is doing what Trump do. He just has a bunch of people to go for. Mm -hmm. That's the danger because they're like, yeah, that's cool. Yes, man. They just just approve everything. Like like, things that he signed has to go through so many people, but it just gets signed and sent the fuck off. That is not how it's supposed to be. It's the people behind him who's the issue. Like, yeah, we know who the fuck it's, you were. He the fucking mm-hmm. issue for uh, he. I'm sorry, but he started so much shit. Like, like so shit. the <laughs> fact that people is actually serious about a fucking civil war. Mm. Like the fact that this has actually been put in people's head a second civil war on the point where it actually makes 
televised news, CNN, big broadcasting news networks. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong with that. Like that's not he okay. Just like his ass on the news like it ain't right never now. been yeah. this bad. Like you talking it's about a like race this. war? Like he has fucking like caused so much rhetoric, so much hate, and it's it's ridiculous. Like I think I'll just say this. Like this. Kinda, I'll just say this. He's the head of just making shit dumb. Just literally just <laughs> making and talking about shit that people would normally have in common that they wouldn't say around other people. They're not gonna talk about it in a population. Like, right. oh yeah, I hate black people. Like they're not gonna talk about that shit. So they got somebody who's on the forefront talking about it. They're gonna be like, oh yeah, I fucking I hate these it. black motherfuckers too. Right, because mm -hmm. they come and they're gonna be agreeing with that shit. But that's they got just somebody what I'm who's saying. That's your up. rhetoric. Like, like yeah. you talking all of this shit, whatever. Of course, people gonna be like, oh, oh, well, he said it. Well, I guess I can say it now. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, but he's bold just enough to do it on nigga. social. Y'all still know not to say nigga. Yeah, no, that ain't don't cool. Care. Don't say nigga. That ain't. This is 2019. They say nigga. They go to the club, say nigga. They say nigga. I'm sorry. I'm around the proper people. Around the right niggas. Not in the proper context. If you really want to be right. Never in the proper context. If it's, I mean, it's not, but shit. Them songs be fire, right, like my nigga? Yeah, they, I'm all, I always hear white <laughs> people say nigga. Yeah. Like, See, I, grew up I can't a, do it. I, I cannot. I can't, I can't do accept it. that shit right in front like, of my face. I dog this little white, white boy at my job for but saying that. Like, I can't. <laughs> Like it depends. Mm -hmm. Like now, nah, it's just blunt. That's not a racial. Right. 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 If you said the yeah, ER is 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 blunt, right, that's, no, that's totally different. Oh no! Like, if you, like, if you, like, you say that, because if you say that, you got a blunt nigga, and you the whitest motherfucker I've ever seen walking down the street, I'm not gonna accept that. No, we don't gonna say that shit. Yeah, that's not right. What's up, my nigga? I can't even say it right. I'm sorry. This can't even feel right. I'm not even fond of the word Negro. Yeah, I mean, it just stem. Cause nigga isn't speci specified for just black. We it's take it because that's what we use it yeah. as. Nigga is ignorant person. It doesn't say black mm -hmm. ignorant person. Mm -hmm. We just adopted. I mean, it. Yeah, who came up else? with the, the the definition that nigga means ignorant I, person? But I mean, if that's like, where it stems from, but then we calling each other that. Like mm -hmm. my grandfather that's even rose me up on that. Like don't just be out here saying what's up, my nigga, and out here just being wild with it because mm -hmm. you don't want your kids hearing that. Me being mm -hmm. a parent, right. I don't like hearing yeah. people saying nigga yeah. around my daughter. You feel right. me? I don't. I, I don't do say feel around bad, my daughter. But I, am I cuss so. before I say nigga <laughs> around my daughter. You feel me? So I'm mindful. You know, we got to be mindful of just yeah. what we're calling each other. It's not a good term anywhere. Yeah. If you in church, you ain't going to say nigga. If you at a mosque, you ain't going to say nigga. If you in front of your mommy, you ain't going to say nigga. Up. <laughs> well, oh, oh, I slipped up. Oh, my mom would be a nigga, nigga, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it was one time, and I was like, oh, yeah, we yeah, can't yeah, try yeah. that. Our, 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 <laughs> you know, the home is very uh, discombobulated. You know, we wild. Yeah. We say yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. But you're going to be mindful when you do it. You yeah. ain't just going to let slip out. It ain't just about to just slip out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I got word shit alive. slapped out of me. I ain't yeah, even like, knocked I don't out say nigga at all. <laughs> so it's just a term we have to be mindful. Like, mm -hmm. do you Most want definitely. that to stick? Do you want to hear your kids calling each other mm -hmm. that? What's up, yeah. my nigga? At 10 and 5 years old. You feel they me? don't know until that's. They do. And I'll be like, damn. I mean, I ain't like gonna lie. Generation. The kids, the people our age having kids. That that generation is shot. So we're gonna try <laughs> after this generation, yeah, just yeah, tell yeah, their yeah. grandkids, be like, I told your ass. We losing time. <laughs> we losing time, yeah. but you might as well start somewhere if you can't you start, start with the generation shit. that's already growing up right now. It's a little you, bad you, for these kids. Some people start parents, with ourselves and then start with yeah, them. Yeah, some people's parents yeah, is man. very yeah. self inflicted. They think depression is the first thing that people don't realize that kills black women and black people in general that depression is a motherfucker you like a ball and you cannot move it's yeah. it's very bad like post mental health. Is huge yeah especially if you had a kid and you're a woman kid. that yeah. post traumatic right. is it's, it's post -traumatic times 10 yeah. Stress, uh, no ptsd uh, we're gonna call it that no um <laughs> so i'm gonna say that before, what I was might, might, as, might as well touch up on that <laughs> yeah no, what is it postpartum postpartum, postpartum depression yeah, yeah. Postpartum. Yeah, it's serious, you know. Yeah, some Mental people stay. Health. It's no time. And then on people it just young as fuck though. Like even like the mindset, the mentality. Mm -hmm. Like they ain't grow up like yet. you so, having kids mm -hmm. at a young age. First of all, your mom had you at a young age, so you probably don't even got the experience to you even know, know how to be on. a mother. And then you trying to be a mother to this child when you ain't never had trying a mother to, to teach out. you, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how to be a mom to somebody else. I always and so, felt so awkward about this conversation with kids and like mom I mean, you and got like being kids young because kids. you got friends that are young mothers, and it's like you're not trying to be offending to them, but it's like, yeah, I can kind of see what you mean, but then it's like, oh, okay, well, bitch, look, if you didn't really fuck with the guy. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> Some people really put, not saying they put themselves in positions for that, but they, it's just the blindness of love, dick, whatever mm-hmm. the sex might be good. It might be something that people just, they'll, they'll say, fuck all that shit. I don't care. I love this motherfucker. Yeah. And then they have a kid with them and then they realize the bad light on the other <laughs> side and then they be like, damn. You gotta be in love. Yeah. yeah. Like, and you gotta like, be fucking. Jesus. Like, people think kids are Yeah, people fun. think kids are like, easy no, when they... That's work. But it's not, oh, it's not though. Oh, it's trust. That's 24 hours. I'm a godmama and I really yeah. try to be there emotionally sometimes for my yeah. friend but it's like other that's times it's, it's a lot yeah, though. It's a lot even because she got twins. Oh, it's it's enough. That's yeah. an energy drainer itself. Like you got sex that's draining you. You got work, work life, life. And you got kids, and you want to find somebody you love. If you ain't found somebody you love already, <laughs> that's kind of hard in general. Like right. I'm not trying to yeah. do all five things and still got to hold down my Niggas life. Ain't shit either. Yeah. Well, you heard it from a nigga who. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. Yeah. I ain't never. But that saying holds true. You're gonna have shit. all the niggas, will you say? Yeah. Not all <laughs> yeah. the niggas. Not all the uh, niggas. Some of these I'm, niggas ain't shit. A lot of these I'm, niggas I'm, ain't shit. I'm an incredibly intelligent, high standard <laughs> man. Okay. Mm. And the two men that are in here are the exact same way. And I am no Jeez. nigga. And I am no niggerette. Or Try to be some time. <laughs> I'm no niggerette. <laughs> we, we, we are chiefs. We are head of commands. We are kings. We are prophets. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, stroke the women ego now. So we are <laughs> <laughs> Is this from Divine me? Divine goddess. <laughs> I mean, Beautiful it's, it's, queen. It's, it's, like, it's, come on, it's, damn. It's, it's, like, it's, it's, I understand. It's your sign, bitch. We got a wall with that. You know what I mean? You know, you, you, you I want a little like, equal in there. You ladies are more than beautiful. You're more than gorgeous. <laughs> you're more than <laughs> intelligent. You ladies are effervescent. There we go. It's coming from God. I like that. What's the next thing on the y'all topic list tonight? Damn. I mean, dang. What's up? You good? <laughs> you just had to do it. I'm lost. What just happened? Nah, nah. No. Oh, y'all yeah, know we need a smile. It's just our house. Yeah, it's just Yeah, yeah, yeah it's gonna it was, move on. Stop. What happened? What's this one? <laughs> I don't know what be happening. Right. Right. You guys, that's where I go. Move up as fast as possible. We're, Moving we're, out. We were talking outside, and it was a conversation about oh. jobs. Yeah. And, oh uh, yeah. And, Elevator. Uh, as, Elevator. As as. as um, Preach. You can't remember. Preach. As, <laughs> as as you elevate as well, a young man, well, okay, well. Like to find a job and mm. not to stay at the job. Stable, okay. Miss Stable. But you want to move up at that job, and if you're not happy, then you need to find mm. a better job mm. that mm. could mm. properly fit preach you. One. Has the preach. Thank mm-hmm. you, thank you, Sister William. <laughs> Stretch your hand out from the fall. Personally, I believe that as a young man in America, a young black man in America, it is hard to do what you please, but if you trust yourself, then you can succeed. Yes, Lord. That was very blank. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as young women, queens of the country, mm-hmm. I believe that you all world. definitely have <laughs> world, the world. Uh, uh, strong mind shit. and the strong physical uh, physicality oh. to exhale <laughs> and <laughs> reach <laughs> levels that have not been reached before. Do you got some long legs for stretching? And, I didn't lose. Uh, if you were to just focus on yourselves and not these ain't shit motherfucking <laughs> men. Circle back. Men real. Circle back. Well. Focus on yourselves and not these <laughs> ain't shit motherfucking Let men. Let them know. You oh will God. succeed uh. because you all are very talented. You are. You don't realize how smart you are mm, until you I go for the, the hardest thing that you've ever gone for in like life. Like after this, will be perfect for Angelo. Fucking living his life. Angelo. Um, Am I Angelo? someone has oh. done you wrong, what you need to do, the best thing would to be is to forgive Kill them him. and then to forgive yourself. Whether you have done something wrong or not, uh, 
It is a refreshing feeling, and what? you will grow from Boy, that. Boy, if we don't speak <laughs> purpose. <laughs> After a while, I, I was kind of like, commentary. what the heck? You can go on forever. Y'all got to work commentary, lab. You got to get there. Can I get an amen at the pool pit? Well, amen, amen. All right, let's move on. What's on the topic? And that's how you knock out a topic. So he not got this. <laughs> What's on y'all long, extensive list of uh, well, topics for tonight? On, on. She said a long, extensive. Move up as fast yes. as possible. So basically, Justin was saying bro. outside that as black men, we actually have an advantage in life. Being educated black men, you know, it's just yeah. finding how we're going to take advantage of being educated black men. Because mm-hmm. white women, women love y'all, y'all Especially they, if y'all smart I was having that conversation <laughs> <laughs> They white coming for y'all, y'all. <laughs> so White women fair. love y'all in general They, they come in But I'm glad we got a lot of black you. women in office yeah, okay. I never agree, I actually haven't either what? Like White women don't approach me I don't approach like That's the thing Get in the right setting, they will That's the thing, I ain't never had no white guy approach me I've been taught that they're called Not white women, they're called jailbait Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's about right. I don't give a flying fuck who's offended. If you're not jail bait, then you shouldn't be offended. If you are jail bait, please you know feel like shit because you ain't shit. <laughs> right. Now, at that being said, I am not being discriminate towards anyone at all yeah. because I'm not a racist mm-hmm. all the time. <laughs> Black people can't be racist. Go ahead. Because I ain't want to lie. That but is not true. I that is very not. true. Well, we can be prejudiced. Can be ra- we, can be very be, we can be prejudiced. If it you is. look up the definition of racism, by definition, okay. black people cannot be racist. Okay. Uh, Prejudice. Uh, Maybe what's the difference? By I don't definition. Know. I don't. I don't like definitions. Like on black kind. people yeah, cannot I, be. I, I, you looking I, I, up I Urban Dictionary like or is this the dictionary by Webster? This is Webster, there's guys. There's Webster White. I don't Webster care what he thinks. Urban white. Dictionary. So if the white person say it, <laughs> <laughs> he just gave his own explanation of why he didn't think he was racist, and I didn't think that was. Jay right. Gaines Mary believes Webster. in love and love only. Hmm. Love and peace. Yeah. I believe in love and love only. If you love give hate, that's what you I, I understand there is hate in our culture. I get mm-hmm. it. But I block that shit out every single day. Yeah, yeah. And if you stop hate, it'll stop prejudice, racism. It'll mm-hmm. stop all of that because all of that formulates from hate. Yeah. And we grew up with white people. And we I have yeah. nothing to say bad about white people. Same. So that's why I see black people actually being racist. You mm-hmm. know, because you don't know them white people. Exactly. Like, they can be cool as fuck. Yeah. yeah. And fucking crackers. Like, that sound like, that's the same thing. And Wait, also, white but with they nigger. did that to us and but not yeah, all but of no, them. No, no, we're not. We're <laughs> yeah. generalizing Rose, all of them. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're generalizing. I mean, like, honestly, for me, it's like, I'm not going to say that I'm racist, but the majority of the people that I fuck with is black. The majority of the people that I want to fuck with is black. If I ever see myself being a white person, no. I. If I ever see myself having white friends, I mean, it's just my personal preference. I done been around a whole bunch of white people who not shit and they're smiling your face. And then at the end of the day, you don't know what somebody's motive is. Yeah, mm-hmm. you got some white people that be like, okay, really down with black people. But at the end of the day, you standing on that front line about to get shot. What white person going to jump in for you? Mm. That's niggas too. Like, yeah, I, say, I mean, but all the niggas gonna be there anyway. Them, them niggas the, been in ran the other way. White people be in the bushes. Look, <laughs> all the niggas gonna be there anyway. They gonna I mean, be trying they, to film they, that they shit. Ride, they ride, but who gonna speak up? Nobody. That's nope. the thing. I but, actually know a white lady that would. But, and, and that's okay. Like, those type of white know, people I can fuck with. Yeah. But a lot of white people, they really, they in it just to say, oh, yeah, we got black friends. That's not okay. Now, if you down with the culture, be down with the culture. Mm-hmm. But... Don't say, oh, yeah, I got black friends, and then continue to live your white. Like, I see it too often. And that mm-hmm. line saying, I have black friends, motherfucker, you racist. I don't give a fuck what you say. If you <laughs> like, say, I have black friends, bitch, you racist. If I say, I have white they friends. But a lot of people think that shit is okay. Like, that's, that's like not, they, that, they that's think that's okay. Ticket. That's why I done been in too many racial Race scenarios. Race is such a touchy like, subject, I know. It is, but we have to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it's it right. has to be if talked you don't, about. Yeah, if you don't talk about it, it's going to continue to and exist. And it's not increase. hate, it's yeah. just reality. Like, yeah. it's not, like, I worked at Cheesecake Factory, and the amount of people that I got, young and old, who Bought was the cheesecake. Fucking, 
Huh? But cheesecake. <laughs> no, just towards me. Oh. Like, like toward towards Shut me up. in general. Like, you you can't see. Bought the cheesecake. Oh, right. bought what cheesecake? That's what. See, I don't get stuff sometimes. Speaking okay? of food, are we getting food after yeah, this? Yeah, let's go to Waffle House. Oh, Waffle House oh, would smack. Wa- and I'm alpha steak. class <laughs> and work tomorrow, so, so that works. Sorry. I just feel like oh. more love. <laughs> oh. and, and it's not even right not now. having no love because I can love you from a distance, nigga. Mm-hmm. I I ain't got it. no. I, I'm not gonna disrespect you in any way or that's anything like is. that. But I don't fuck with yeah, you for that's, real. That's like, like that's like an alligator and a cheetah. You feel me? Y'all could be in the same street. jungle. <laughs> I would shoot y'all, but I'm for real. Seriously? They be yeah. in the same Seriously. jungle, but uh-huh. you you fuck with your clique over here. I'm gonna be over here respectfully. I don't right. need to intervene. And with that's you. what I'm you saying. Gotta, like respectfully, yeah. 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 But you know, white people can't let a black person be. That's why we in this situation now. That's why I just I just gotta say for the specifics. It, it it boils down those are those specific people mm-hmm. yeah. you feel me every it's group not a generalization has, of yeah we can't generalize any race because there's asians who act the same there are puerto ricans who don't fuck with black people yeah, at all there's there Af- are africans that africans that's, don't yeah, fuck yeah africans with don't fuck with us at all oh they hate it oh man at all they don't fuck with us at all so some of them do i ain't gonna say all that but okay i feel like it's bigger than black and white for yeah that's like i said the unity but, yeah, okay, but my this. thing is, you say it's bigger than black and white, mm-hmm. but if you look at everything now, what is it boiling down to? Oh it's God. boiling down to black and white. Black and black. <laughs> like, like boiled- so y'all saying white privilege ain't a thing? No, no, that's, that's true. Okay, so like, 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 I mean, yeah, privilege. but it's like, it's like no, it's not. It's that's no richer white, poor, CSU black, nothing. Like, you see that shit on campus. Yeah, you could be a poor white yeah, person yeah, and be privileged as fuck. Like, like no, like, you need. and I can yeah, see if true. I did not see that shit every day. But the fact that it's so prevalent in my face, and it's not just with the older white people, it's with the younger white people. They think I just had a discussion in the class with a nineteen-year-old white boy who did not understand. Blacks were disadvantaged. Like he, he, were, yeah. he did not understand the like, like y'all saying, let 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 everybody love each other, one world peace and all that shit. And I get it. Like I told him, I get it. Everybody, it sounds good. Mm-hmm. But when you have a system that's purposely created to keep black people down, Depression. we have a problem. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not disagreeing with that at all. I'm saying the aspect is just generalizing everybody. We, we generalize a lot of people. And until yeah, I can see change, it's just yeah. it's gonna be that generalization. Yeah. But that's our government. That's what we're yeah, talking Yeah, that's what I'm about. saying, like we're, we're, unity wise. Government. Yeah. Government. government, we got we black people don't have a community where yeah. we all can no. we can be big enough to like come together but it ain't gonna happen yeah, yet. but you're gonna need more than black people you're gonna yeah, need white people too people, the fact that you got but yeah, 8 million unity. something people that voted for Trump mm-hmm. it's like cause they showed out that was that was also fixed too they didn't yeah. they didn't have all of the people vote That's for Trump it was, they it was a they yeah. had yeah. enough it was a strong, of them it was a strong amount of people that were exiled that were supposed to vote. I wish if, criminals could vote. They they'd not, probably be like, this motherfucker ain't going to Then vote. Trump would not <laughs> be president right <laughs> now. I mean, if we was going over popular <laughs> vote anyway, Trump would not be president right now. But the way that... And plus, <laughs> black people don't vote. They think, yeah. like, the young, the young generation vote. and the young so culture sad. thinks that voting doesn't matter. They think that their vote doesn't, doesn't matter. And it's, mm-hmm. I want to slap everybody who says that. Like, that makes no sense. You cannot say that, oh, my vote does not matter. That's like saying, oh, me breathing doesn't matter then bitch die today right now <laughs> get the fuck out my face if your vote don't matter go because you're not doing shit to help out the community okay, you don't care What's that? so how many of y'all go to town halls and town meetings to talk to the mayor how many people express how many do how I often go to do some we of my community meetings do we, how, how often stop do in. we as black people yeah, go and say we have a problem with this minimum wage we I'll have pretend. a problem with these sewers we have a problem with ABC mm-hmm. we want to go truth. straight to the head yeah. shows, but we don't take care of what's at home first mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. that's where it starts we have Started to get small. our policy you talking about how uh, the upcoming election for like no 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 to start to start in the city basically yeah we have yeah, to, our yeah. mayor, you feel me? We have to tell him what our fucking issues are. We have mm-hmm. to say, we don't like this. Change this mm-hmm. shit. We want to go to Trump, who 
He don't give a fuck. I live in South. And we got hella. Like I we was talking about earlier. I said we got a lot of people don't know about the town meeting, the town hall meeting either. They do send them out. Yeah, we have this. They throw they throw the papers room. away out the mail. Snail yeah. mail is still a thing, Ooh, and they we do ain't send never it got out. No paper about no town hall meeting down where I stay at. It's, <laughs> but it's not as uh, and then we stay in the hood, hood. It's probably not. I mean, but it's not as like yeah, we are gonna pass out flyers to every person that live here. But yeah. they do have them. You just have to like go to those but places, those should. churches that's if in the main area. If it's a town area. hall for the community. It yeah. should be advertised yeah. for the community. But that's community. up to your councilman and councilwoman. Yeah, and that's what we have to... And that's yeah. why Frank, fuck Frank Jackson. Uh, <laughs> that's no, not my councilman. Yeah, that's why. A lot of people blow Frank down Jackson. on him. Like, yeah. what's going on with They him? need to blow down on his ass because his grandson is really wretched. What happened? Oh, shit. Don't say names, but what happened? We already said Frank Jackson, so it was a correlation to his grandson. I don't know. Wait, were we still not? Anyway, so like, what happened, though? Um, so I think what happened was he uh-huh. caught a couple of charges of um, either kidnapping, murder. rape, or uh, murder. Oh, this nigga lying. Yeah, and that's Frank Jackson's um, grandson. So uh, it was kind of like, oh, okay, well, damn. So how how many times can you really put your, your family through this type of thing, ordeal, and nobody really heard of it until just now when all three of your charges is like aligned. They you keep know that I mean? shit on the wraps. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So it's like, okay, so he dealing with his own money bullshit, mm-hmm. but then it's like everybody else is struggling in the city. We got hella money in the city, old money, historic money, and they not we doing shit about it because it. it's mostly white families. They mm-hmm. don't really give a shit about Cleveland other than making it mm-hmm. gentrified to what they want yeah, it to be. I was about to say so. they're doing something about it. Listen, they tearing y'all. down the projects and just Like they're building people. up downtown they because downtown is benefiting them. It's not right. benefiting yeah. the it's African-American right. communities that are five minutes I'm away but 30th is and 40th is where okay, we got the projects right outside of the city. They getting rid of them though. We are falling behind. We've been behind. East Cleveland is a gold mine. It y'all wanna know why? If y'all ever go down University Circle and look at Case Fresh and Reserve, remember like ten years ago that was kinda like the hood and now it's mm-hmm. like the whole shopping plaza center. Yeah, mm-hmm. they flip. They're about to they're about they're letting E C fall down and our community, that's our community, fall apart mm-hmm. so they can so buy they that can shit out. It. That's why yeah. we should keep buy that it. land. Yeah. Cause my grandma got a crib in East Cleveland. I was like, keep that shit, keep it, and then you know, make it our own community, make it better, or you can flip it and sell them. Mm-hmm. Sell it to them and get that money, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Free game. But like back in, in the day, years. EC was the <laughs> sub, like you the suburban tell. area. Yeah. That was yeah. Rockefeller yeah. owned, that, house yeah, owned that Yeah, Rockefeller owned that whole property. And, yeah. and it was up. like, those are beautiful spaces. It's a gold mine, man. Beautiful yeah. homes. Yeah. And we just ran them down like now you drive past that's, 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 like yeah, that's, that's like social though that's social you got general that's that's generational socialism yep. like people adapt what they see from their mom and their dad and their grandparents that they live with them like it's all types of stuff you got grandparents that have been doing drugs and these people grow up and they right. 35 EC fucked up to too EC, 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 EC got yeah. hit real bad by the yeah, crack it's epidemic EC got it's not hit just real EC, bad though. But that, but that's the city that that's our it worst really city. affects. It's that's the worst what, city in Cleveland, but yeah. it's not just the city because you no, got. I didn't know it's not just the city, downtown. but I'm you see, in that's why it looks like that because of the crack. Because of crack, yeah, the crack did. When crack came yeah. through the yeah. community, everybody became like black businesses used to be in EC. Mm-hmm. It, it used to be a small business gold mine, mm-hmm. but when they brought crack in. Everybody got addicted to crack. Where you think the money was going? Yeah. And, and they, the and the city just mm-hmm. it, that, that was back then. That was our Black down. Wall Street. They mm-hmm. put it yeah. yes, I can see that. that. They put into the that. drugs yeah. and then they put into the violence and then they put into the weapons and then they flipped all of the and they arrested uh, all your black men that had, was ahead of your household. So all the things that were legal now became illegal because they have fucked you up in the head and no, oh some deep shit. I'm tired of us saying they. Stop saying that shit. It's we us. We gotta take down. accountability. Yeah. I'm saying I'm, what happened I'm, before. I'm, 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 that's, I'm, that's something that that's something I would never even notice. Just that, 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 but, but, but now we're aware. Yeah. We're aware now, yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. We're so yeah, right aware now. now. Yeah, I'm talking about what happened mm. before. That's in the past. Fuck yeah, that. We gotta about now. We gotta take care of now. But in order to build a better future, you gotta be aware of your past because the past can always come back around and repeat itself. Okay, hold on. Let me play devil's advocate. Go ahead. Because I hear both of y'all. You have to know your past. You got to. Because you you'll stay ignorant if you don't know what happened before true history will 
you will allow history to repeat itself. Mm-hmm. But like he's saying as well, you know, understand that, grow from that. But now what are we about to do mm-hmm. to make the right steps in the next direction? You mm-hmm. know, this is a time we're very ignorant, just like the town hall thing. We have phones. We can get everything we need to know right mm-hmm. off of our phone. There's no excuses for <laughs> anything anymore. So we have what to hold ourselves accountable. Like, all right, are we going to keep gotta, following gotta, these trends? <laughs> are we going to keep killing each other? Are we going to keep on doing these same are patterns we that we've adopted from the white man in this mm-hmm. controversy? everything or are we going to move yeah, forward are we going to say let's change this shit you we feel need me? trendsetters move we forward. need trendsetters shit. and that's where this table we is we need you feel new, me? new leaders to come yeah. up Cause we we I can't wait to make a change, you guys, yeah, in the world. That's, that's, <laughs> that's how I be feeling. Like I can't yeah, wait no, to be my like, shot. I, I mean, I guess the saddest, I won't be no homelessness. I guess the saddest quote: rappers and singers don't cut it. Because I mean, what else uh-huh. uh, do people look up to? But you know. Black entertainers are entertainers. not like we have so many. Right. 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 We have so many black. great. We have the power, but they don't. African do it. No, American because they own or like because um, they own. Like we have to out. Hold on, I can't hear essence. Hold on, wait. I was just saying that we have a lot of. What just happened over there? That was powerful. That was. She said they're bought. They're they are own like. Lamar but definitely. Yeah. Own Man, Serena what? Williams. They had a transcript. They had a trans. First of all. Yeah, they are. First of all. What what is the company name? It's a big company. It's the second largest company in America. Mm-hmm. Basically bought out prisoners. So they have a big chunk of private prisons. Mm. The people that worked for them are the CEOs to rap record labels. So what they did was sense. they put out a transcript and they said, these are the things that you have to rap about. Mm. You have to rap about sex. You have to rap about drugs. And you have to rap about murder. These are the three things that you have to put in your lyrics. Mm-hmm. The people who are signed to these labels, that's why people were talking about being independent from mm-hmm. labels. Because mm-hmm. once you sign with that label, you then you're owned that by that company. So mm-hmm. when they tell you this is the music that you're going to put out, yeah. that's the music you're going to put out. When they mm-hmm. tell you to jump, you better jump. How high is Exactly. <laughs> and they, they had to put this music out. But they yeah. did that because they know... Who are black men looking up to? Mm-hmm. Rappers so, and shit. We think that's and people our they want to do what's in this music, I'm like my like. Damn shit. Mm. Oh, yeah, but, but let's be real. Music does music, influence us. Yes, big music time. Is definitely influence. Big time. Even, even if you're just listening to the beat, yep. you're, what you're getting in your ears. You're still getting the words. <laughs> the lyrics is coming your, in your, your head. Your, your, big your time. Temple. So you have to understand, you know, you might think, oh, this beat is just hard or, you know, it's catchy. Listen to what that nigga's saying. Right. You yeah. feel me? He talking about Unsubconsciously, we do yeah. do that, though. Yeah. Like, something like what you said today. Like, mm-hmm. damn, I didn't even realize that we are. Mm-hmm. We are putting ourselves in a past tense when we could be talking about future tense to speak it into existence. Present. But, okay, Present. so the thing yeah. with the music, right? Mm-hmm. Music was a big thing in slavery for black people. Mm-hmm. So in order to get through hardships, Black people, one of our things was mm-hmm. we sung. We made up songs. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, niggas yes! Yeah. To get us we'll through our hardships. Day. So I feel like that's why black people, we have what? so much soul that's and we can cool. feel music like yeah, on a spiritual yeah. level. Yeah. Like, yeah. so when you telling people yeah, to put out this type of music, it's going to hit people on a spiritual <laughs> level. <laughs> and you think yeah, that that affects your spirit. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. I agree. And we, we're adopting a more white culture music anyway because everybody's are, yeah. a Very rock diverse. star. Everybody's putting that up is, this. This is a mm-hmm. rock star symbol. I mean, it's the devil. But yeah, I was about to a, say it. It's oh, a I rock star symbol. Shout out to my <laughs> yeah. That's love. No, this is love. This is This when you're signing yourself horn. over. Yeah. You're yeah. signing yourself over. But you be showing the love. That is Satan. That's you got this going. You good, girl. You good. That's scary, man. I don't like you doing that. Keep getting that going. That is bad. But I've seen this before. I know that. Can y'all repeat that? Keep that thumb up. This is you. All hell say this is the way. They made up a lot of bullshit. Listen, yeah. listen, yeah, listen, to my, listen to my young thug huh? and listen to Z right here, okay? Yeah, listen, no, they're, they're, listen to my young thug. This right is here. a different culture. Like, mm-hmm. if you start diving into Hollywood and what it represents, mm-hmm. what 
celebrities have to go through to become that is very wicked. It's not mm-hmm. some just oh it's money. Nah, this nah. is a this is a game. It's a different type of game though. It's a different yeah. set of rules I'm to life right that you have to obey, or they'll murder you. Quickly. It's like getting into yeah. a fraternity it's a contract, times yeah. one hundred. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Times yeah. a billion. Yeah. Like yeah. it's what something we say. <laughs> yeah. Your Ooh, soul is shit. gone. But yeah, uh, real yes, quick, we're adopting yeah, a white real. culture. That's how they you know, be. black people were really adapting to. You know, diamond change, you feel me? That's white culture. Mm-hmm. Everything we're doing is not really embracing us. That's why we're crystals and shit. You feel me? It's mm-hmm. our culture. That's why I meditate. That's my culture. Me, I know myself. I don't know where the fuck y'all came from, but mm-hmm. I know myself. So I have to adapt to who the fuck I am so I can leave my legacy for my daughter, for my next Bing-bing. kids, for my family. Mm-hmm. So they understand this is what Z did. This is how he got to this point. You know, don't follow it 100%, but I'm going to leave them jewels for you. Mm-hmm. You right. know, and the same thing with us we have to do that you know because we're adapting a lot of white culture you know it is a lot of their faults but it's our faults as well because we didn't keep supporting oh my brother got this business let me keep buying from him i want mm-hmm. to just assimilate it to something you know? else to be used to with these yeah. big companies coming in letting yeah. us be on every corner yeah yeah we you know everything celebrities do is for a white company timberland mm-hmm. when it comes to gucci when it comes to michael kors it's all white brands mm-hmm. and then we're buying and thinking we cool but we're still Supporting pushing the into their him. pocket mm-hmm. you know like we hold ourselves actually there's this blog post i'm sorry to cut you yeah, off but ahead. they're called shop black s-h-o-p-p-e black they got like the link on everything like black so bakeries things, black yeah. auto shops black uh companies that you could do mm-hmm. and black yeah. models people you could hire you know black designers people you could buy from like yeah. invest in mm-hmm. that's invest pretty cool mm-hmm. we need more we we yes. definitely we need more like that's why i'm definitely a big supporter of people starting businesses like black business oh, like you got to because that's like the only way that you shout out to reveal. honey scrubs and stuff shout out to honey scrubs and stuff honey shout scrubs <laughs> <laughs> um but so, um, yeah that's like the only way we gonna really rebuild our community and like what you were saying about looking towards the future and stuff 110 percent agree with that because that's why we need new leaders to come up now us? like we had the I have a question. Uh, all of us. That's, 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 that's what we are. That's what we are. We are the future. That's what we talk about. The present. We are the future. This is us. Yeah. The, I have the a people slight that will, question. We're those I'm sorry. I mean, yeah. the, um, but what would y'all see y'all self independently owning that could give back and um, y'all could do y'all flexibility or whatever y'all want to do? Just oh, like, you oh, know, like a question. quick, like, That's a you know, question. what you want to do, something that'll improve the, you know, your culture oh, and your city. No, you didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Go right ahead. Go right ahead. He was ready. I would own Ohio. How would you get to that <laughs> point? Okay. <laughs> that was your um, that He answered the question. Yeah. <laughs> I was not finished. Okay. I would also own Georgia. Period. So you trying to be a you trying to be a politician? But she said, how would they get give back to answer the You can own it and say fuck would, that. How would they give back to that? Yeah, but see, I'm I'm the head. I can be either the head of the snake, mm-hmm. or I can be the head of the positivity train. Now I'm not. That shit is in my way. I'm sorry. That shit was <sighs> the Aries. Yeah, that twitch moment. <laughs> the <laughs> Aries male <laughs> ego. So, um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the mic up. I, mean. I would, I would flip everything that <laughs> is happening, and I name only the only reason I name those two places is because that's why I know where my family is heavy from. Somebody get their phone, please. <laughs> Don't look over here. That wasn't me. Freedom, <laughs> fucking up. That's that's why I know my roots are heavy. Said, it's, I see it's you in Ohio and slimy. deep in Georgia. So I would flip those. And I, I would you. change everything. I would go oh, into awesome. every single community and change everything. Like you can't, you. I'm not the type of person to just sit back and watch it happen because mm-hmm. I have a life. I don't have time. I get one life. I don't have time to just let shit fly and let bullshit go on. Just That's let people say they, what what, you know, you? what they want. Yeah, let people so do what do. they please. You know, white privilege, you know, black people. I, I don't give a fuck who you are. That. Is what is going to be done. So how can somebody own a state? It's just as simple as that. Out there? I'm sorry. How do you, how how can someone own a state? I'm still looking into that actually. Okay, and no, I, I, just, I just it's possible. Okay. That's why I'm asking. Like, so, is that a just, thing? Cause just like yeah, just like Oprah. You just buying an, property. You could island. buy millions of the land and buy the state. Literally, the physical land of the state. Yes. I mean, that's pretty dope. They got yeah. families. They literally have families. The richest families in each state. So mm-hmm. when 
the government uses all of their resources, uses all it borrows the maximum amount of money from the bank, whatever they can't get no more money. But they need money to circulate throughout the state, then who do you think they go to? Mm-hmm. They go to these rich old family money. Mm. The people gives them money to trickle down to start to um, restart the banks, you know, get them out of the recession and everything. Mm. There are literally families connected to each state, which is the richest families mm. in that state. Mm. They control politicians. Now, who they their last control name? They need state that bank loan. Right. <laughs> oh, they don't even worry about that. I'll get a name. It's, I got this. Crazy. Shit. <laughs> right. oh, and we need a name, guys. She got the information. <laughs> but, I, shit, I got but this. But I don't want to definitely lose the question. That was a very good Okay, so impactful question. So, yeah. you go, so how, Justin? How would you, uh, Justin gonna say skip. I just do me, man. Shit. Because I was thinking. I was thinking. You need that, some more time. No, no, I'm good. I mean, honestly, um, to get back to community, never really thought about too much because I need to get my own shit together. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> I would create something that can help them get grants to college. This is future I'm sorry. This yeah. this was like something that yeah. you would do to make a really good like impact. Ten plus five, maybe five years or so. Five to ten. Yeah, get like a facility, you know, to help them with their creativity. I'm big into creativity. I feel mm-hmm. like that's what this generation now is big on. Mm-hmm. And I would just find some way to fund them with whatever they want to do. Yeah, if that's singing, that going awesome. to school, or whatever. Like just I'm just a plug. Mm-hmm. So you would want to bring the creative outlook back because they took yeah. that from a lot of schools. They mm-hmm. need the creativity. When we were leaving out of high school, I remember Remember, we had to, they stopped doing <clears throat> photography or, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. I know yeah. Yeah. that too. Yeah. Mechanic stuff. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. We yeah. only had yeah. paint. Yeah. And I, yeah, they took out some of our... Um, extracurricular activities yep. mm-hmm. those are the ones mm-hmm. that go first we need yeah. that shit so you want to implement yeah. it that's 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 what and kept, those are the ones know, that kept people in yeah, yeah that's what kept the students in line and kept them intrigued with school because mm-hmm. all that was really dope people was, was able to do ceramics like nah yeah. i really yeah. like doing yeah. that oh, that's, that's shit. What, that's what shout out to that opened our mind up to oh, that yeah, level man i'm just gonna say this i'll just say this case western now is letting kids who did complete nine through twelve they're going to school for free in Cleveland's public schools. Oh, dope, dope. And I'm like, that's such a weird thing to do now, you know, because y'all know half these damn kids going to alternative schools. They ain't going home. Mm-hmm. And that's just in Cleveland. So you talking about Cleveland public schools with kids that don't even show up to school or their parent not even giving a fuck. Or if they do give a fuck, they ain't pushing their kid to try and, you know, make them in the right direction and go to school every day for these 9 to 12 sector you got to be in high school so it, it's really kind of like okay yeah y'all giving us free shit but the opportunity is there though it is, it is there, yeah. there. Yeah. first it is there but that's the, the <laughs> yeah. that's that little thin line you have to be within them. school through 9 to 12 and it's very hard for a lot of kids though the teenage age right now for them to really be in school for and them. i mean like like she yeah, said for the school of the arts like you have to get accepted yeah you got to be accepted like, it's not just oh, okay we take you no you mm-hmm. right you have to a lot of schools is like standards. college now high like schools is which like is also very good you which know is... that's something that can go ahead oh no i'm sorry go no on. please I'll, I'll, no go ahead for real yeah no no i'm sorry go ahead yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no i was just gonna say like and going to the Cleveland Schools of Arts, like, I completely agree with what you said because it was a whole different. So before I went to Cleveland School of the Arts, I went to Cleveland Central Catholic. And before that, I've been through eight schools. So God Cleveland damn. Public Schools, Catholic Schools, yeah, my oh, mom liked them all. Charter yeah. School. <laughs> Um, but the atmosphere is so different. Mm-hmm. Like, the people are so different. It's They're creative. In my opinion, it wasn't really any clicks. It wasn't bully. Like, people was friends with everybody. Mm -hmm. Like, it wasn't really no bullying. It wasn't. It it was a really good environment. I'll drop the gym. If you've been there more than um, eight, I would say four or five years. My uh, old teacher, math teacher, Mr. Lapelli, is the principal of of Cleveland School of Arts now. Really? And my favorite art teacher, Miss Brickner, is the art teacher there. She went See, to Yale. See, they changed the whole entire they thing fucks, up. I yeah, fucks Woods, with them. And I'm right. telling you. Dr. Woods. Yeah. yeah. Um, they pretty dope. But it's shout it's to our a, teachers out. Shout to yeah. people out. Mr. Napelli, Miss Brickner, hi. Who made a change? Who's still doing that? You know? Oh, well, Dr. Snyder. She was my creative writing teacher. Mm-hmm. She's now an English teacher. Yeah, yeah. So I love her. And then Dr. Miller was the um and theater <laughs> theater teacher. And I loved him so much. He used to make fun of me. It's yeah. okay though. <laughs> Hey, shout out Mr. Klein being my tenth grade uh English teacher, man. It's because of you that I got into the arts. Late, man. Oh, oh and Miss Vivek. 
Miss <laughs> Beebe, <laughs> I don't remember real name. I don't remember number for real. From, from Brush High School. <laughs> hey, shout out to Charles F. Brush High School. Hey. So, to answer the question, that was a very good question, by the way. I had I had yes. to really, really think on it because I'm really, really big on children, those that are, like mm-hmm. know me know that I used to work for a therapeutic foster care you agency. Did? Yeah, she's um, I just, I just yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> I have a really strong passion for the children and youth advocacy. Um, really cute. Really cute. But I think where my heart really would have to go is I would set up some type of program where we can supply the black community with lawyers mm-hmm. uh-huh. that are for our people mm-hmm. so we can be educated when it comes to the system. Mm-hmm. A lot of us are ignorant when it comes to how these court systems work, and I'm Especially one of them. Kids. <laughs> okay, I don't know the ins and outs, but hearing stories over the years and how people, parents are advised to get lawyers and your lawyer is supposed to represent your child and you're putting your money up and they telling them, you, oh, you're mm-hmm. just doing community service and all that. You, you know, it's a slap on the wrist and them niggas end up going to jail for years yeah. Yeah. after or your lawyer don't even know your name or really. Right. That's so sad to me because you got a public mm-hmm. defender. Even if you don't get a public defender, which I think that whole system is crazy anyway because you know how many Stupid, people they yeah. get in the house really... Mm-hmm. People don't really, that's what I'm saying. People really don't know the inner works of the court system. Mm -hmm. So it was like seeing that was just like an eye opener for me because I'm ignorant to it. I didn't know public defenders get your case sometimes the day of and you got to go to fucking trial. Like that, like how are you even able to prepare for my case amongst others? So just having some um, awareness and, you know, a safe haven to really have your best interest at heart is something I would like to implement in our community. And maybe that would cut down on the violence because you won't mm-hmm. have all of your loved ones in prison for Especially seven years fathers. and they didn't really do nothing the first time offense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go, go to traffic court one time. You'll see exactly how oh, it is. It's terrible. You'll see exactly how it and is. And I've sat in there with friends thing. just to be there and just yeah, to, you they, know. They try to put it as a scare tactic yeah. as to say that this is what's going to happen if, if you, you didn't pay that. Well, yeah, that too. Or if like I was to commit a crime or have a federal offense, then I would have to go to an actual court, which is a mm-hmm. huge room, which is the exact same thing as traffic court. But there's a judge that can send me <laughs> to prison for 10 to 25 or 25 to life awesome, instead of shit. just going to traffic court and having to pay the fees because I was going to be sent to another um, judge. But I got all of my paperwork done the same day that I was pulled over. So mm. the highway straight trauma had me fucked up because I know the system and I know the laws and There's you're not going to fuck me over for none of my rights. Mm. But I'm down to teach that, you mm-hmm. know, but that's that's something that has to change, too, because that's not that's not acceptable. Like I actually had the worst. I like the worst record that was in there, like they had like tags that were expired and it licensed and all of that shit. But <laughs> he actually tried to put me for things that actually weren't illegal everything like majority of things i had were illegal the only thing i had was a suspended driver's license which i didn't know about so that can go on me for not checking my mail i'll take that fall but it came from 86 dollars to about 320 and that's all court fees that's and if saying. i didn't have that it then jump. i could either try to make a payment or i would have to go back to court and when you go back to court that's when they actually tell you okay well you're following you need the whole shit. Yeah, and the, the same day of, they're like, okay, well, you might as well go to a, another judge because you're going to have, you know, this many days in jail and this and that. I wasn't stunting none of that shit because all you have to do is get the smallest things right and which are the biggest things when it comes to being in the court system. Mm. So, yeah, you know. Mm, interesting. And to add to that, if you don't go back to court, then they're going to put a warrant out for your arrest. And anywhere you go, if you get pulled over by somebody, they're going to arrest your ass no matter what city you in or where you at. They're going to arrest Sorry. you and they're going to ship you back up where now, you got that warrant out for. Let me, let me, let me, let me stop you on that one. That's true. But you do have, you do, you do have those good cops that will let you off. Yeah. Very rare. Very rare. <laughs> they feel like it. That'll, that'll be like, hey, you know, go have you been doing of, this? Have like, you, right, you know, like, have you been doing this? But... Um, to agree with you uh, uh, on a strong point, 
they put that second warrant out, that's when they have the right to come into your home and to take you yep. out of your home, second to take you warrant. out of your job, to snatch you out of your vehicle, yes. and to put you in cuffs, and then you get locked up. And they send bounty hunters after your ass. Yeah, so that's that's actually like, the shit, this shit's real. So for a parking ticket? What are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, this deep. No, for, 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 this going to be for any form of a small-ass parking yes. ticket. To for a fucking felony, anything yes. they will send I've had, them after I've had it before. Ass. I've had one before, and I paid it at my fucking midnight, and they was gonna take my ass the next day. They knew where I stayed and everything. Yeah. I paid that shit in cash. You not gonna fuck me over? Nah, hell no. Nah. You not? Nah, I'm not gonna have that on top of my head for some bullshit. It was for parking in a space with double lines when we lived in the apartment complex. Now here's a fucked up thing. The apartment complex didn't have enough parking spots for the people who lived there. I lived there. I hate that. And the people that were visiting would park in my designated mm -hmm. spot. And I don't have a garage space. That's $45. I'm not paying that shit. I suck my dick. <laughs> so This is my designated spot, though. I parked, like, I parked in a yellow <laughs> spot, and the police saw me multiple times. Mm -hmm. It was never an issue. It just apparently, one day, I just got a cop that just decided to write a ticket. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, what you warrant? Like, what? I was like, oh, yeah. Don't kiss my ass with that. Take this weak-ass little money. Do whatever y'all want with it. Y'all wipe your ass with it. And I'm going to keep on pushing with my life because you're not going to stop me from succeeding. Because one day, I'm damn sure going to own any job that you potentially want to have. Period. All time. It's funny. My one friend be like... <laughs> my one friend be like... How people going to tell me I got the right, not, I don't have the right to drive my own car in the city. I don't care if my license is suspended or not. <laughs> like, how you going to tell me I can't that drive my own car? <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, wow. You, that's I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with the system like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Damn, yeah. I'm I'm cool. I ain't going against the grain yeah. like that. I'm too scared. Oh, yeah. I'm too oh, yeah. scared yeah. of that I'm shit. I'll stay my black ass at home. It's yeah. cheaper. First of all, <laughs> that, that, what's taking so long to write this ticket? Right. You be sitting they up go, there for they 30 minutes. They, they do it. They do it on purpose. It's, it's like a mental thing. Yeah, it doesn't even take 30 seconds to run a light. Right, yeah. All you do is type in. They type in your right shit in already before they stop you. Mm -hmm. As soon as, as, soon as they pull up votes. your license plate, everything. No, they that, just want your license just to check what's on yeah. their screen that they already checked for you. Mm -hmm. Right. So mm -hmm. now it's so like they just making you wait. So it's a mentality thing. And they teach them that in police academy. They teach them that shit in police academy when they. Do stops. Fast, but sometimes, dang, like, it ain't nothing like the adrenaline man, when you get they the, call it for backup. It ain't <laughs> <crazy. It's laughs> nothing no. like the adrenaline. Oh. They call it you for backup. And, <laughs> and you want to know why they do that? They be just pulling up. They just be bored. Yeah, they be bored, yeah, and they be like, "Oh, oh, well, shit, officer, such and such." Let me pull up yeah, on them right quick, they and they just put, they, they just be right. talking, talking right. the back, making you talking. wait, making your mentality think, "Oh shit, something's wrong." Oh shit, something wrong, and then that person just tweaks out. I make them fucking think some. I don't put or, my car Yeah, apart. some people kind of make true, but like drive with my normal foot on black the brake. people. Some black people don't be <laughs> liking the cops. Like, right, I fucking like the keys off the fucking ignition. Nah, right, it's, it's right here. Right. Right. It's right. 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 I ain't doing that, but that's sad that you gotta do that now. I'm not with that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't trust. I don't trust you enough. I don't know you. I don't. I don't trust you. I don't think you, you tripping, trust bro. me. I don't like. I don't, I don't, I don't that's one that. thing we cannot control man. right now, man. Is is that the law, man? Yeah. When it comes gotta, to that shit, it's just it's take us a while to get there. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, until you got policies in place. That's the do or die situation. It's gonna take a while. It's take a while. So how would you? That's scary though. The world. Oh, I already know how I'm changing the oh, world. <laughs> I got this shit planned out already. So, <laughs> like she got this outfit planned out for Friday. <laughs> All the way down to the T. Shout out to them Virgos. They think ahead in life. Let me see real quick, bro. She's got for 50 tea. years plus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. Tell no. me why. Um, He's a 50 years Anybody else got a baby bladder? I got a beat. Where's the bathroom? Right there. 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 You gonna miss the plan she had for the fast. Plan? No, girl, go release your bladder. It's all. Okay. Release your bladder. Say that loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> she said release. Change the world. Yeah. It's so um. Quick. So long time go, like end goal for me is I want to open my own school, um, for um disadvantaged African American children. Um. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you can hear it. I. Definitely wanted to be like a boarding school um, because I feel like 
parents have a big part to play in the way that their children turns out and mm-hmm. huh? I'll be in fried go ahead yeah, me too. I got <laughs> chill it, it, it's, it's just a fried moment um, <laughs> I feel like if you got that child that good role model um, I want to implement a mentoring program where every child is assigned to a mentor, mentor. whatever they want to do whether it's business arts whatever yeah, yeah. like you that person is there to guide you that's gonna be your parent they gonna guide you they gonna lead you to where you need to be and mm-hmm. the end goal is it is um more black entrepreneurs more black people mm-hmm. to put back in our black cities and rebuild our cities that's dope cities. that's dope so my oh go ahead no i'm done so are you like <laughs> like right oh, now are you like really big and giving back is it like what kind of person you describe yourself as like i feel like, like i owe it to my people i'm a i'm i'm black um i didn't see a lot of suffering from my people i didn't been on the receiving end of racism i didn't seen it i study my history mm-hmm. my 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 people from the time that we arrived here on boats to now and it's just like my people have been suffering for too long like it's time for us to rise up and be what what i know we can be black people are creative we're smart we're intelligent we can rule the fucking world if we want to but we don't know that potential is not tapped yet and white people or the government whoever you want to say it is is doing whatever they can to keep black people down and so i feel like as african americans we all got something to give back to our people Mm -hmm. and for me it's education because everything starts with education so if you can educate these up this upcoming generation it's going to affect the generation under them and it's going to be a trickle down Mm -hmm. effect and that cycle is going to eventually begin to change like and that's just the way that i see it i (laughs) <laughs> I fuck with it. No, no that's real. real. No, that's yeah. real. You get into the roots of it though, yeah, and that's what really matters. You got to though. Into the roots you, of you it. really, you you have to. That's why you got to learn your history because you cannot move forward if you do not know where you came from. Like, and for me, a lot of people say, "Oh, African and all this." I don't consider myself African American. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm black. Like so my my that. my ancestry started where I know that it started from when we was brought to this country. We fucking mix we didn't been white fucking portuguese i don't know what the fuck i got in me and we built this motherfucker for the record so fuck christopher columbus and fuck columbus day fuck fuck all of that shit shout out to them for we ain't gotta go to school i'm still taking that day off shout out to that day off we get for columbus day though i'm not even gonna i don't i don't respect that he's like i can't i can't respect the person that either but i like not having said that no, I just work. take off <laughs> things. But no, like fuck on a serious thing. note though, yeah, fuck for me is fuck all of these. That's why I'm I'm not angry at European European descent, but they some fucked up people. And at the end of the day, like since the moment they arrived in this country, they were some fucked up people. Mm. Going back Shit to their country. Real. They were some fucked up people. <laughs> fucked up, huh? Like, fucked up people. <laughs> right. I just want to like, say fucked up people. Like you fucked being, up people. You being completely... Who will come up with enslaving a whole race of people and torturing them just for fun? Mm. Like, you gotta be somebody fucked up in order to want to do that That's to a, a whole race of very people. Evil. Yeah, like, yeah. like, and they do it with their own people. So I'm, I'm like, <laughs> to me, it's like, I'm not racist or anything. But at the end of the day, I'm down mm-hmm. for the people that look like me, because ain't nobody been down for us. So we gotta be down for ourselves. Real freedom. Did you want to chime in on that at all? Uh, if not, that's then it's fine. Because then I can, yeah. I can. Yes, nigga, you ain't gonna skip the, the question. Yeah, because I. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so when it comes to change within the community, um, I say my first step would to be I'm writing a book. So uh, getting that book out. Shout out to Freedom. Um and getting a movie started for it. And actually having new actors, you feel me? I don't want no old heads who you've seen all over. (laughs) I want Denzel (laughs) to play me. Yeah. You know, let's get some young artists, you know, mm-hmm. who are on the rise. Independent. You know, and, give, and give them a chance, you know, and be like, this is a different film, but you can make it off of this. Mm-hmm. You know, nothing I'm going to do is going to be anything but. My really good friend, Shabrina Kalajela. Shout out to the lively creative. Yeah, she she definitely does her thing. And she writes books. So. Yeah, she, I might need to talk yeah to for then. sure. Yeah. 
and um actually having it here in cleveland you know you have plenty of space so using that opportunity yeah. giving people jobs like yo we need you for this scene we feel like you'd be perfect come on mm -hmm. you know uh, fixing the roads up creating small businesses like if say in east cleveland the road is fucked up let's train people how to you know mm. build this road back you know let's give people landscape that shit flattened my tire three weeks ago i was yeah. fucking pissed you feel me? Shit like that. i drove that bitch all the way home yeah. i said i'm not staying in ec yeah. i said fuck y'all yeah, 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 no, no, i'll take the freeway yeah, before i do that yeah. shit yeah. Yeah. fucking Shouldn't nail no in my tire ever be that yeah, bad, 23 though. minutes oh, and 48 sure. seconds yeah. i was pissed <laughs> But um, but yeah, like giving <laughs> giving jobs to communities that to fix up their communities, mm -hmm. you know, it'll hold you accountable because you come from here. And I put my effort into rebranding and making this beautiful, and giving it life once again. Um, giving people opportunities to have fun, you know, being like, all right, in this community, let's set up a pool over here. We feel like they would, this will be great for the community. Start having mm -hmm. more th options for people. Yeah. I think a lot of things. A lot of people do shit when they're bored, you know, mm -hmm. just because I'm bored, you know, mm -hmm. so let's give people something to do, mm -hmm. you know, creating little fun houses or let's go to the park and have a tent day or bounce, bouncy out. And they do this in other cities as yeah. more yeah. than 500,000 people. And I'm yeah. like, we barely hit the cusp of it. little stuff. Yeah. But yeah. like, I really want to change like the Cleveland experience. Like, oh, yeah, I want to create an experience here because Cleveland is a good gold mine of what it's, you really it's, can it's, do. Like, mm -hmm. you can go to Columbus and go look at some cool ass mm -hmm. art exhibition or whatever the fuck yeah. but that ain't shit compared to how much space you have if you did it somewhere else in the random historic like old factory building yeah. you know what i mean you got the Warehouse, experience the ingenuity fest. exactly yeah. like, hey. i was so sad i was out of town oh, yeah, the whole man. time for ingenuity oh, fest but i really wanted lit. to go yeah that no, shit is dope just stuff like that just small not small but huge opportunities for mm -hmm. people small you things know. that grow into big opportunities yeah, that though. grow big and just getting more people involved because if she wants to do something you want to do something mm -hmm. i can link up with you all be like mm -hmm. i heard your vision this day let's get these mm -hmm. people let's get this paperwork yeah. ready let's whatever get going. we need mm -hmm. and i'm going to invest in you i'm going to make sure you financially you're you're well and able to take care of yourself Most you know you have the paperwork to make sure you can take care mm -hmm. of yourself let's establish your mm -hmm. name so then you hold your own weight i'm not about to be your boss you your own fucking and not boss. Like, right. Right. Real and not like this even like it doesn't really it's like so off topic but it triggered my memory my memory while you were talking about like the pools and stuff in our communities like i was born and raised in south euclid yeah. and i'm like dang south euclid Lenhurst, we had to share school there so we yeah. share everything because we're mm -hmm. such a small community mm -hmm. but it's like how you said the pools what do we have like yeah, we, we had bexley i remember yeah, that Lenhurst. and then the Lenhurst, yeah, Lenhurst pool, Park, which is it. predominantly wow. white mm -hmm. and then we had yeah we but, drive but we had like that yeah. little community mm -hmm. center right there by like giant ego yeah, that, and that to hold like, there anymore. but like, like compared to cleveland yeah. heights they got a whole rec center like where you can go engage in ice skating <laughs> yeah i like ice skating, skating. Man, even yeah. even collinwood um, man ice skating basketball courts yeah. like all types of stuff they have and it's like we have to pay to go there but cleveland heights residents is free because it's in their community but yeah. like well we got that little, that little event thing. space up there you can't even have parties none of them <laughs> anyway yeah, do nothing, so, so it's like then you gotta pay for your own security all that like it's all this all these like red tape all this red tape and it's like dang yeah. what did our community have to offer us as far as engagement mm -hmm. you know other than school a mm -hmm. chill environment <laughs> oh, yeah. right. I ain't complaining though. Let me just put it on record. I, I am personally blessed. fuck with soft you quick. I, mean, I love like, like we need we need things for children that will benefit them, you know, like Freedom said. I mean, mm -hmm. we can't like there was a point in time where we had parks and we had libraries and there were things to go to and the violence. Oh yeah, I remember the was, library. Was, yeah, they it closed was, it was down. Very, exactly. They got a new one now, though. And that's, they got that big ass. One. They look bad. But it ain't the same though. No, it's not the same. It's not the same. You know, it's as far yeah. from brush. You ain't walking down. Right, right. right. Yeah, no like that was something that you could get off. You know, get off from school, walk to yeah, the library, fun. and you know, mm -hmm. just they educate like yourself and have fun in a library. Mm -hmm. Like nowadays, man, it's not they. They, they don't even know what the libraries up. are. Or the libraries just don't exist. Yeah. But Kids you know what? The library don't exist though because of technology. technology. Or I, guess what? I'm though? actually all for technology. They only know the libraries because that's where the it, you know. There's parents, good use to technology, yeah. and there's yeah. handwritten. But this is uh, what I'm about. Good, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm like, I believe I prefer it. To, I love it though. Okay, well let me just finish my one real quick. Do your thing. We about to ramble. 
So, <laughs> We've been um, rambling in this 12 to yeah, it's And I'm hungry. <laughs> so, then the next I'm hungry for four hours. Yeah. I'm cool with Waffle House. Waffle yeah, House is yeah, fine? Yeah, okay. Oh, wait, after he finishes his thought. <laughs> oh, you feel me? Hey, that's mini me over there, bro. Yeah. That's mini me. Oh. You, that's freedom. <laughs> she didn't catch it. <laughs> She's like, oh. I told you I'm not good with catching stuff. I'm sure. She's cool. Yeah. It's okay. Um, <laughs> no pun did. intended. Having more mental awareness days. <laughs> you know, like, I feel like we got to implement that in the schools. Especially me being and working at a school now. It's seeing that within the children. You know, people who actually love children you know not just because it's a job you know it's different you have Nurturing a different mentality yeah. when you're just going there to get a check from i want to see this kid become be great you know mm -hmm. i love this it's child so this sad. child is, this child is my child it's, you know that's how i feel going it's there. sad because mm -hmm. so many kids are getting unintentionally neglected oh, mm -hmm. yeah. from their parents yeah. because yeah, they're so hard. I'll never say you're a good parent or not a good parent, but it's so many just they just let them fall by the wayside. Very parents good. that yeah. are not really Parent. instilling in their children the values that they need to survive. Yeah, you need to and they grow up messed children. up and they grow up being exposed to things they weren't even supposed to be exposed Nothing to at such to. a vulnerable, immature mm -hmm. um point in their lives. Mm -hmm. And they grow up and they're angry and they fight mm -hmm. and they cuss and they do the most grow up even more and they become abusive mm -hmm. or they're um very the total opposite they're very introverted they're very depressed mm -hmm. they're very um like i said introverted because it's like they don't even know how to reach out to tell someone i need help mm -hmm. they cut mm -hmm. themselves they they, they self-hate they self do a lot of self-torture with and their mindsets the and everything and then yeah. they at the end of the day they take their lives like mm -hmm. that honestly like when we went to brush like uh, probably one suicide i remember happened maybe two very it was not common nowadays it's it's, it's sad. They have metal detectors now, bro. Yeah, mm. I had Do no they really? I, I had they no did not idea. have that when we was there. I had or they no didn't idea. work. New era now. I mean, it's, it's, they didn't have it, them at all. It's a new era. It's a new we era. never it's had them. As that. Yeah, they sure did. We didn't have to fear that back nah. then, you know? Because of violence has been. And I ain't going to lie. Like, going when I was working with kids, I had to go to Shaw one day. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to no, cut no, you off. Ahead. But I went to Shaw one day. And I just felt like I had to go through a metal detector. And I was like, if I was a child. How would I feel having right. to do that? I think they used yeah. to it, though. Yeah. It well, the Cleveland yeah. Public School, because all them bitches had metal detectors mm -hmm. in them. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to every take single one of them. Bags. Yeah, we had to get one I down. never had the experience that shit. Yes. Me mm -hmm. either. Yes, at yeah. the School of Arts. Wow. We had metal detectors. Oh, y'all kind of so, like right there in the middle. Y'all in the center of the middle. epidemic. But also remember that we were one of the best schools in the district. That's fine and all, but y'all in the hood, just like these colleges that's real rich. They I right in the smack dab down the street from a hood. Toledo. Shout out to Toledo <laughs> University. Slapping on a hood. You walk across the street, you're going to see a whole bunch of crips. <laughs> what you got to think? You better not say what up, cuz. And you go on the other side of the campus, you see the suburbs. I mean, like, yeah, but everybody. that's fine, but y'all could be the best, but it's a lot of good schools that are located right outside of a Same neighborhood age. that is very, mm. very and they detrimental. they don't have metal detectors, though. You don't. I, don't I, know. I wouldn't say that. I don't know that. I can't say for every school, but I did see a couple. But I wouldn't say for every Cleveland school. Cleveland public school. Lincoln West. I know some of the schools on the West Side for sure have them in their schools, like all the schools, are, especially the Cleveland newer public build schools. School. Mm -hmm. I mean, but they're public schools. They, they're just not on the east, uh, you know. But they still I'm Cleveland talking public about Cleveland school. public schools in general have metal mm -hmm. detectors in them. Lincoln mm -hmm. West is a Cleveland public school, mm -hmm. so those schools. But what I'm saying is like. The geographics, like, even if we don't have no violence at our school, it's crazy that because we are an inner city school, mm -hmm. we get yeah. metal detectors. Because that messes yeah. with a person's mindset yeah. sometimes. You're, right. you're, not, you're exposed to, yeah. again, that word exposed. 
you're exposed to things you aren't even used to because right. you weren't necessarily raised where you would need to even think of why would guns be in school. Yeah, you got to right. go to TSA just to get the I fucking never, first peer class. To, I, yeah. never went yeah. to, I never crazy. went to brush. Right. See, maybe it was the ignorance back then or it was just the culture. I never went to brush feeling threatened. Like, I had Same. to fear what We was didn't have happen. that. It was about to fight you know? something. Yeah, like, the longest we had was a that. fight and it was a single fight. Barely yeah. that. that. was it. Like, you know, so. Yeah. That 10 days, you don't want that 10 days. But it's different because y'all got like a big school, school. y'all like a big high school. See, y'all, yeah, how many? Had about three to five. That's what I'm saying. Y'all that didn't make have it worse, that though. many. Yeah, don't make it worse or better. Because but it, it was it a public school, so everybody yeah. was split into the Cleveland public schools. We have like hundreds of schools yeah. within that district. Mm -hmm. When you get to like a city like South Euclid or Cleveland Heights, y'all like like only August. got a school. That's like the tri city two. of y'all right. in one but school. That's what I'm saying. It's a different environment. Lincoln West, Jane Ad, like it's a plethora yeah, of them. Yeah, like yeah, we have yeah. so many. Mm, but yeah, yeah. I'm saying the equivalent barbie. of you seeing a gun compared to them seeing a the gun because they think that shit's just normal. They just walking in a school. Us, it's in an inner city. Yeah, we gonna have to do that shit because it's more prevalent that crime is around us in these smaller schools, not right. in these yeah, big yeah. ass schools with mm -hmm. thirty five hundred kids in them because they not they not thinking about that. That's nah, they just thinking about is this is our safety. This is some though. people's parents' like jobs. Like Columbine, like those they, were big yeah. schools though. They were big schools. Yeah, I like Columbine. Columbine. I think, I think those are ones I don't with more people. Those are all bro. white schools. I'm gonna leave it. At and this. I'm saying, when have you ever really known a black school to get? <laughs> Somebody Shut going up. to a black school and shoot They probably just jump you after school. Now, they they like I said. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, like, it's, like, like you just don't fight. Yeah, we just, I'm it's expecting fights. Right, that's we don't fight. But, but don't y'all worry about the pull-up. You might have one nigga shoot a bullet in the air. Don't y'all remember something about when we were in high school, like success tech, something happened down there? Yeah, I remember that. I don't remember exactly what, but I think something happened. We had a threat one day where we had police on the roof and all of that. We had a... um People doing bomb threats, yeah. Yeah. Faux bomb threats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, we only had that now. like one day. I wasn't look though. This the class. I was in gospel choir. That's <laughs> that's the class that I was in at that time. And we I had was, a class for that, my that. nigga. Y'all got money. We had gospel choir. We had show choir. We had show choir. Yeah, we sung show for the Lord. Right. We, we had a small like, school. A that's why we were still singing for stuff. Jesus. I Jesus sang never. I mean, we had choir because it was a. I went to Catholic school, so that's my bias. Show choir in America. Shut the fuck up. Y'all ain't even got no rhythm. Get the fuck out here. Oh, she petty. <laughs> hey, Lord, Lord. Right. Right. Like, like, Jesus catch the beat first, we okay? Will give you I went to school like that. I went to Lutheran school for a while. Uh, How did you feel like Luther Nice was? It was terrible. Didn't like it. I don't claim it. Y'all hear me? I'm in future. Fuck y'all. I don't. Like I did not like that school. I feel I, it. I told my parents I did not want to go there. They was like, you know, you know, I understand. My parents want you to go We want you to go there. Went there, got to fight the first two weeks. It just was like, yeah. yeah, and I didn't have a good time. Everybody, everybody. It was like only yeah. two hundred kids. We had to wear the same color clothes. You know, yeah. it felt too. Coronated, yeah. And so when did you go to brush? That's the whole shit. Junior year, yeah. oh, so yeah. yeah. And that my life changed. Yeah, you in the hallway. Yeah. Like, I, I wish I would have went, went the whole way through <laughs> talking to her to the Saint oh, John yeah. Lutheran. Yeah, for real. I, public school kept me more aware. I like the private school. I like the that little. I like that, but public school was like, whoa. Yeah, like, like that's a whole how I world. felt too. And we can't share this experience because we both went to the same elementary school. Like we was at St. John Lutheran. Private school. And it was great, but it was like... You know like, what's funny? All of you all... All of you all, all went to yeah, public I'm schools like, and I went to all, all private up. schools all my life. Mm -hmm. whole life. But not yeah, even Catholic that. School. You talking about the highest And I'm just like listening to y'all experiences and shit and it's like, damn. Okay. I went to both. But I mean, like I went to both, but I don't feel like I've been around both. I would say I've been around both schools. Terrible. And it's more yeah. but I wouldn't one. say that so I was like, in that in that like in that yeah. academic yeah. the public schooling we like to get all of that we gotta, so we gotta pull it back in no, no, we all yeah. having a yeah. conversation right we gotta ladies and gentlemen let's now. all get back on the same page please thank oh. you that's coming yeah, from yeah, legendary okay. appreciate <laughs> you baby thank you. <laughs> appreciate you baby thank you now all right. all right. all right. public Sorry. schools was lit for me though know? it was super diverse black white it was some of everything it was so many it was a culture shock from like well, we have 200 St. John and 5,000. I mean, 200, 2,000. 200. It's only like 250 200 kids. to 2,000 or something. I was just like, what? Yeah. No, it was about 150, yeah. yeah. Not 1,500 at brush, yeah. Everybody knew everybody. I, I felt really closed in. Hmm. I felt know? like I had a diverse mm -hmm. group of people I was around, so I didn't feel That's like... Cool. 
I was yeah. like, oh, it's all black or oh, it's all white. I've had like a mixture of white friends. I had like a white best friend when I was younger, so it wasn't like it was. Ours was all, ours was all black. Girl. Our Luther school was all black. But yeah. yeah, that's the thing. Like, if you get those Catholic <laughs> schools or those public schools Dude, that yeah, do Lutheran that, or, in, or yeah, Lutheran school, those really high religious schools, they, Pro- I'm sure private. they would do mass. No, did y'all do this, anything this is like Lutheran. That? This is more so. Lutheran. We did. No, we had chapel. Chapel, yeah. Chapel, yeah. So that's the same thing. But that's crazy, though. I've never really had any white they took friends that growing out. up. Yeah. Like, Neither. I've never had, had any right. Shout out to Colin. Si- senior year <laughs> is actually up, <laughs> my most diverse group because our clique was like white, Hispanic, black. Like, we were uh, really. Kingdom, kingdom, kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't have any. Uh, I'm sorry. Please. We were all really house. culturally diverse, <laughs> but growing up, I was not like white people was foreign to me. Like, mm-hmm. it was, like uh, I mean, it's it's the atmosphere, you yeah, know, the just, environment, just, just you know, Ooh. the environment that you grew up in, and then it's you know, the things that you experience. Oh, I already know it's what? down the street. No what? way. Mm-hmm. A what Waffle House? Yeah, yeah. they talk about food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're about to wrap up when Freedom get back. We're having wrap it up educated here. conversations and they're talking about the fucking Waffle House. <laughs> I'm pretty sure our listeners, if they made this far, they must love us a lot. Yes. If y'all Real made talk. this far, y'all yeah. love us. We love y'all. If y'all made it this bed. far, y'all was really into the conversation, <laughs> real, though. Real. Like. Real talk. <laughs> For Talk real. Talk a lot about a random You shit. are appreciated. Rambled a lot, but it's all right. For real. Well, the end is off. They'll start. Oh, you got something to say? No, nah, I ain't want right. a lot of heads with you. Um, <laughs> end is off like on a good note, then. Just say whatever you want to say. F- free speaking. I don't oh, know. Um, okay. Namaste. Instagram. Self-love. Always grow and knowing, you know, put your best foot forward and be optimistic in life because depression ain't one of those things that you should really be stuck on. I feel like that's something that black people really have a tough time facing. But I'm bird. <laughs> Where can they find you on Instagram, on social media, all that stuff? Oh yeah, follow me on Instagram. It's Exploration Birdie B Y R D I E, and then um, I don't fuck with people on Facebook like that, so we're just gonna keep that private. And I don't have a Twitter, but you can follow me on Snapchat. <laughs> I don't know what Snapchat, but it's. <laughs> <laughs> I think all my stuff the same thing. Hey, quick question. And again, you say you, you like art. You do art. Yeah, I like art. I like drawing. Yeah, shout that out to let she them know that you are. I do henna. I do henna. henna. I do henna, it. but Promotion. like, I don't do it because I'm in school. So it's kind of like a lot, especially when I do it on a side. So if I do, it's like a major investment for myself to really just kind of time consuming. I got homework and other shit. But she does henna. But I do henna. I do draw. I got a couple of art pieces on my Just Be Henna Perfect. art page on Instagram as well. So okay. you can go follow those too. Okay. Check her out, y'all. <laughs> RJB. <laughs> What? what? We end it off whatever you want to say. It could be, oh, it, 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 it could sorry. be, a, it could be a whole paragraph, <laughs> ten paragraphs, one word. Nah. Uh, you about right. to preach? Yep. <laughs> he took it off. To me. Well, uh, I, I always like to end things on a very positive note and um, give a good message from the wisdom and the uh, knowledge that I've gained over the years. Um, I just want to tell everybody to uh, invest in yourselves. You know, find yourself. You know, most definitely accept yourself. And take care of yourself because without you, you can do nothing for anyone else and you can't help any community or city or country without yourself being here. So hashtag help um, as well. <laughs> yeah, you know, hashtag love, uh, hashtag sexy, hashtag model. <laughs> hashtag light skin shit. Hashtag <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what that's stand for. But uh I ain't a freak hashtag though. Hashtag Aries. I ain't a freak though. I got that boy. <laughs> hashtag I ain't no freak, but am I? Um, <laughs> hashtag I'm not nasty But I'm nasty um, Okay I think that's about it Yep yeah. <laughs> Hashtag eat the booty like groceries But I don't like groceries oh, I, you don't. Oh. <laughs> Hashtag mic off Hashtag <laughs> Hashtag do you eat it Okay Oh god <laughs> All right, just. I'm next to you going yeah. Alright guys I'm Hashtag gonna- swallow Come on man <laughs> Hashtag you know what, Spitters and Queers. Unplug him. Unplug him. Unplug him. Unplug him. I'm about to start a foundation. I would like for you all to be a part of it. Okay. I need you all to send me $100 each mm-hmm. after the <laughs> <laughs> shower. That's <laughs> a little deep in the 
I, I love you, nigga, but I just paid my car note. I can't help you, bro. Hey, see, that's the problem. Black people don't support, right? See what I mean? Y'all don't want to, I didn't I tell you. I say I wasn't going to give you no money, but I wasn't going to give you $100 <laughs> off time. I need a plan before I put any money in. Hands in your hands. Got to give me a blueprint. A blueprint, motherfucker. A blueprint. Prime example to why we don't win. White people ain't just walking in there. Oh, yeah, man. I'll fucking invest in your ass real quick. Here's my money. Take it. Just like a nigga in a parking lot trying to give you a goddamn CD. Hey, nigga, take this CD, nigga. It's only five dollars. Get your bitch ass away from me, nigga. I, actually, I do buy these CDs sometimes. I don't. This I tell them to kiss my ass, get the fuck away from my car. Oh, well. Yo, on a real note, though, y'all, you know. Damn CD, nigga. Keep it pushing. Keep it living. You better get that Enjoy the journey. I clown. I clown. J Gang's out. I like yeah. That. Keep it pushing. Keep it living. Shout out Enjoy to J Gang's. Enjoy the journey. Yeah. King Lavish. I had to reiterate that in case y'all didn't hear that King out there. King. Keep yeah. it pushing. Keep it moving. Yeah. Enjoy the journey. Facts. Yes. Actually, when you said something to trigger my mind, I'm so now I'm going to have to say two things instead of just the one I said. So when you said that, <laughs> um, how you support people with their music and stuff of that <laughs> nature. So you take a sticker. You take a sticker. <laughs> Everyone takes a sticker. We should, uh, oh, we should yeah. do a boomerang because I want to do Let's do that. I was thinking about that too. Um, but when you were talking about how you support different people out in the street and stuff, you know, with their music and stuff, it triggered my memory that one time I had, um, it was this homeless guy and I know we'd be like, who do, who's the real homeless compared to the, the, the home, the working homeless. Okay. We all know they be dropping people off too with them signs that be too crisp. But anyway, I knew this guy was homeless because I've driven past this freeway several times and he was up in the ditch and some just came over my spear like you know what my bang down the street let me get him twenty dollars now i really did i pulled over on the side Damn, of bitch, I need to be I, look, you crazy as fuck i, I mean i have gave no that. no no after the fact i was I like haven't. dang i gave him 20 i could have gave him 10 or yeah. Yeah. Right. You gave a nigga two. Know. but i had to stop my car over and call him over and i was like here you know here give and it, it but but I, i'm saying this to say this like fulfill your purpose in life mm. I'm a giver. I discovered that I at, at a younger age, so it, it it helped me helping him. It helped me to help others. To serve others is something that feeds my spirit. So find your purpose in life. That's one. Mm-hmm. Two. I had to say that because you triggered my memory. Like I'm like, <laughs> dang, like dang. That was even what I was gonna originally times, say. Right? But yeah, find your purpose in life. No matter how long it takes you or how long it's gonna, you have to invest in yourself to reach that goal. It's worth it. Mm-hmm. And two, to follow up with that is find self. Mm-hmm. I'm on a journey now. I'm 26, so maybe since I was about 25. 21, Same 20, here. 20, 20. I've really been trying to work on self, and it's, that's the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my whole 26 years of living thus far. But do I think it's worth it? Yes. Do I think I'm worth it? Yes. Hell yeah. And it's just like to find yourself is the most vulnerable, um, hurtful, eye-opening, eye, like realizing time, you know, and it's like really... Um, hard to feel comfortable with yourself so I really feel like it's important and that's going to look different for everybody but it's really infor- important to delve into who you are or who do you want to be who are the man or the woman that you want to become so work on self mm-hmm. and as always SE out you know that's it follow Amen. me on Instagram yeah. S underscore Rose <laughs> underscore Rose you know that's it I'm going to calm down. <laughs> Mini me, it's oh, all you. Ahead. Put the mic down. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm not good with closing. So, you got this. Um, yes, you are. Just, just keep it brief. Right. Okay. Keep it real. Do you? Yeah, Kiss, real. bitch. Uh, <laughs> um, keep it simple, shit. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so she kind of don't really have any social media. <sighs> I uh, hate her. How was your experience on the show? She Lisa, has a whole this ass is your first time on the show. You can talk about it's your experience. She was talking about all these urban facts and then I, uh, <laughs> I don't have a social. This experience was awesome. Like, I always love good conversations, see where people with brains is at and stuff. You know, stay black, all my <laughs> black folks. Stay 100, too. If you white, I love y'all, too. This is not as much as my black folks. <laughs> um, oh, that's real though. She got to be real, real black. Herself. I'm black. Really, I'm sorry. I guess you know. she's a radical. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably see y'all next week if I'm invited back. Bye, Miss Barry. <laughs> oh, Miss Barry, that's gotta be your name Ms. from now on. I'm not messing with the Chicano. You gotta be Miss Barry. <laughs> hey man, that's Mini Me off top though. Miss Barry. <laughs> 
Gang gang, gang, gang since potty train. Gang gang since potty train. Then she got a down pat. You gotta have a radio person. I mean, you gotta have a personality for the screen. Um, you are right where you're supposed to be. Mm, I think we like lived that. so far Ooh. in the past. Of the it resonated year. to me. <laughs> I felt yeah. that shit in my spine. My butt kind of hurt on this shit. <laughs> 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 we are there. Hey, hey, there I'm kind of like, nigga, my ass cheeks started hey, tingling and shit. Like a readjust, <laughs> nah. But dang, yeah, you're yeah, right. Where, I'm no. sorry, that didn't mean no, to take cool, away from the moment. Cool. That was a moment right there. I, it hit me though. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're your perfect version. So we look too far in the past or the future of where we should be, how we could be, where we want to be. But you're right where you're supposed to be. I feel rude because I don't want to interrupt, but you like just hit me like a poet right there. Oh. Like dang, it was all <laughs> time. Like, he been a poet. Like, yeah. 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 On that brown yeah. sugar yeah. love, like you felt that like brown like, sugar like that movie. Yeah. It was like yeah. I was focused. So I was like dang. You're right where you're supposed to be. Wait, don't. I was in a place mm-hmm. within myself. I was worried about finances. I was finances. Wait, 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 yeah. hold on. What? I was what in a place different? where I was worried about finances. This is where I'm going into. You're right where you're supposed to be. Yeah. So thinking like, damn, I need this job. I need to get this. I need so to handle true. that. But um, Trust I stopped worrying for a minute, and I was just <laughs> like, you know what? Shit. If you need to struggle at mm-hmm. this time, it's a reason why you got to struggle mm-hmm. at this time. Mm-hmm. You know, don't try to force anything. Allow mm-hmm. things to be. Um, create what you want to create. You know. And when you worry, the world around you becomes a worry. So I just took a breath and I mm-hmm. said, you know what? I trust in you, the universe, um, and just guide me where I need to go. And I got this mm-hmm. job. Literally just got co- confirmation. Like, yeah, we want you to come yeah. in. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. So stop worrying about things that you have no control over. Right. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. And if you do have control over it, just handle it. Don't worry mm-hmm. about it. Mm-hmm. So you're right where you're Or you can sell some dog food. <laughs> I ain't selling no the dog food and no <laughs> niggas. <laughs> Nobody buying my shit. Aww. But yeah, you're right. If it's all supposed. organic, I try it. I don't have a dog, but oh, I buy it my girl. Girl. No, no, I'm talking about. It's all dog food. I know. No. I would give it to my friends' <laughs> dogs to try it. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I did say I try it. Not at me. We're talking yeah. about yeah. cocaine. No, all right, I'll ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <laughs> thank you, 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 and you for joining us. I don't know what the fuck the Let's Drink Podcast where we create, inspire. That's what it's called. Not and with the, we'll, Come on, man. And make change. Oh, no. what the hell right will we create? Great, inspire. And no, great, no, great. this is not how I'm we do it. I'm about to do it, man. Oh. Ladies and girls, girls, thank you for watching or listening to Live and Journey Podcast, where we create, inspire, and spread greatness. We out of here. Woo-wee. Post a picture. Okay. All right. Uh, good. <laughs>